up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame O. And I am Batman. <laughs> Yo, this guy's an asshole, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, and, I'm and, so, and you gotta sell the I'm joke. So, you just snorted. You just snorted. Are we, are we starting over? Nah. No, keep that. Right. Say the name. Right. That's how we ride. All right. Uh, and you, who are you? You heard me. All right. Cool. I'm Batman. Okay. Nah. Uh, what's going on, fam? Marcus what's Houston, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Houston. Marcus Houston. <laughs> 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 Batman. Sure. Sure. Was sure. he? No. Yeah, was him, right? No. Nah, Yo, I'm Jay Willow, the podcast killer, <laughs> a.k.a. podcast poppy, a.k.a. the pop father. This here is Willow Wednesdays. I hate the both of these guys. But here you about to get some ghetto news from your motherfucking relationship gurus. <laughs> Yo, I hate this guy. Yeah, I, yeah. He, he take a couple pods off and come back all That's loopy. It. That's, That's it. what it is. Yo, bro, you good, bro? I'm so tired. All right, so look, you already know I got the five-hour energy on deck. Oh, yeah. And Red Bull. All right, we're going to try not to be Yo, that, yes, facts. I wasn't going right. to say it, but you said it. But since you opened the door, be careful. With yeah? What, yeah, because that's a lot going yeah. on. I mean, Kevin Samuels just, you know, he I drink Red Bulls every so day. But he also was taking, 56. When I was in here was on Lean, Molly's, and popping Teslas. Y'all didn't say nothing. Y'all just popped them and took them with me. He was on Lean? No, y'all was on Lean with me. Y'all didn't have a problem oh, with never that, in but my y'all life. got a problem with this. Never in my oh, no, life. no, no. I got so a problem you're leaning. A, you're a rapper, and you yeah. live in Atlanta now. Actually, no, I lied. I've tried Lean one time. Whoa. Oh, we did in the studio. Yeah, we was in the studio. We? we? Wow. Bro, I didn't try it, though. Th- so we, we, was in, we was in Blast Off in the city. Did I try it? ASAP Rocky and his crew had a studio session before our session. Yeah. They left, and they was like, yo, have at it. They left the lean line around? Dead ass. Left the lean. Yeah. Dead, like dead serious. And it was like, yo, have at it. And knock yourself out. Yeah. And it was like, hmm, you want to try it? Well, why not? It's free. <laughs> I mean, I'll take free. <laughs> I think I, I, I want to say I tried it. I think I did. That shit tastes as good as fuck. Yeah. I can see why niggas get addicted. Yeah. I'm not with it, though, but I can see why. Yeah. That shit tastes real good, that though. That niggas out here like badass kids. Niggas you know like. Mean? I mean, it was free. It was Is free. It? it was free. And ASAP gave it to us. That's pretty dope. Shout out to ASAP and Rihanna and his Hurt baby you. and all that. That's a beautiful thing, man. Work. For real, Yo, how was y'all week, though? What's up? Talk to me. We here. We live. Uh, Sunset Park, what time is it? It's time to get live. It's time to represent. I'm not that. I'm not Who was that? But well, that's some New York shit. No, but. It was it was a high school. Onyx? Who the fuck? It was, it, was what, it was what you did for your week. Facts. No. No, actually, some cool shit happened this week, man. Um, okay. I was in a lift. And um, randomly, you know, random person asking them what they're about, what they're doing. You know, you're talking in the lift. And she's like, I work for a label. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. She's a publicist. Mm. Oh, well, that's interesting. So we get to talking. Obviously, she like, you do this, this, that. Okay, shoot, fast forward. She's like, I think I'm, uh, um, remember we was talking a few weeks ago how in Atlanta people actually make real connections. Yeah. She was like, well, I'm going to plug you with some producers I know that's doing this and doing that. Literally made the connect. I didn't even tell you that. You wait, did. Wait, wait, wait. It so, just happened wow. today. You're saying that people yesterday. actually. Yesterday. Yesterday. People actually, like, when they say they're going to hook you up, they actually follow they, through? No, they do. So what's the difference between that and New York? Nigga, what obviously. New York don't do that or shit. Or Chicago. Like, what's the. Help the exact opposite. Like, I remember I took another lift one time, and a dude told me he was Chance the Rapper's, Chicago, told me he was Chance the Rapper's manager. And I'm like, oh shit, that dope, nigga whatever. Was not He's lying like shit. Well, no, no, no. Okay. Was this in like 20? I mean, but, but but let's be honest. People do do you know lift and shit just to get some extra bread. Like, nah, but you know no, what I'm no, not the manager, no, not the manager. No, no. I used to do Uber. Fuck I know no. how much you can make. That's no. what I'm saying. I so so no. in Chicago, homie had told me that it real, must have been early chance, like yo, early I, early may, chance days. It was oh. like when chance was. Cause there's no out, way. There's yeah. There's no way. If you want to be the rapper or the artist, it had to be about maybe six years ago. So it's possible. As a rap had to. What, what are we talking about? No, it was after that, but it was probably like six years ago because I had just visited from there. No matter, no matter. He's gonna anyway, anyway, it. but the fact is he told me to do this and do that, and I sent him all kind of music and was trying to connect with him and shit. Nothing. Da, 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 nothing. Every time I meet somebody, nothing. I mean, the person's doing nothing, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Been in Atlanta now for what? Eight months, nine months, bro? Every single person I've ever met that said they're going to do something, bro. No, they no, do no. it. The, the networking down here they is do it. different. Yeah. She said, yeah. all right, I'm going to hook you up with per- I've been on, on all day. On the phone with, oh, man, you did what you, oh, do you work with, quick. So, you never know. But I'm just saying, that shit happened to me, and I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. I, I think I like this city a little bit. Listen. Look. That's the one thing, the reason why, well, Real shit. 
they they follow they follow through, but also, um, in my like okay, like I saw Twenty One Savage tonight. Mm-hmm. Today? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So uh, I was at Copper Cove about two hours ago. Mm-hmm. Was um, Ian on a little day date. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And look over. Well, before I walked in, I had mad niggas outside, rich niggas, hood niggas though. Yeah. Okay. Regular day in the neighborhood. So I went inside. They all came in. I'm like, God damn. Like, who are they trying to protect or not protect? Those man. Right, right. I look over. I see a picture in Copper Cove. They got, like, pictures of different artists from Atlanta and New York. You know, Copper Cove, Mr. Ruggs owner. And then I look over next to the picture of 21 Savage. 21 Savage is sitting down (laughs) next to his picture. I'm like. Isn't that fucking ironic? That's yeah. weird as shit. But yeah, but like I don't think I would so sit next close. to my picture. Oh, nah, it's I probably think. it's probably like his seat. I, I mean, I think he did it on accident, but either way. It's What's the irony, like, for real? Yeah, it's irony. You think that? I don't he think don't, that. He don't seem that corny. <laughs> that nigga did not smile at all. He was hanging out with his friends. <laughs> he's from he's oh, from UK, here. Bro. I'm pretty sure he got a spike. He's not from the UK. He's from the UK, bro. Bro, he's as much from the UK as I am from Miami, Florida. You no. got the shirt, though. I mean, you got the shirt. That looks like a Miami shirt, By though. By the way, if you guys noticed, the last time I was here, I was wearing You really about to tell people your, and, your clothing pattern? Uh, <laughs> similar print and color. Because <laughs> those were the bottoms of this. Okay. So the Hoochie Daddy set will be worn in the following months. Stay tuned. Are we okay with Hoochie Daddy shorts? The name? I don't, I, I don't like it. I okay. just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. Uh, Real quick, I'm, I'm glad th- it has a name. The name is is a, a rebrand of some shit that's already been going on. Okay. Back in the '80s, back when Magic Johnson was playing basketball, like the shorts was up here, bro. But the, but but it wasn't. Re- remember, Michael Jordan and them came. Allen Iverson came and made the shorts but long. But we was wearing shorts. Men over here. just wore short, short. Like it wasn't like it was short with a purpose. But that's, that's it was what, like that was that, short. That's what I said. That that's what I said. So but the it's rebrand. It's actually not even short with a purpose now. It's just no, it niggas is. are no, doing it, what niggas no, do. No, 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 no. It's, no, it's no. a rebrand now. It's a re, it's Hoochie na- Daddy now shorts. Now it's Hoochie Daddy shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. It's, bro, we had a whole episode called Thigh Meat and Dick Print. Yeah, yeah, but, but let me explain. Right? Last summer, like, the shorts, like, above the knee shorts have just been a thing for the past two, three summers. It's just now... Now it's being it's made into a, a no, memeable. It's getting shorter now though. Cause, cause no, no, no. I, but I, I remember when above the knees came back. I remember I was in Zara and I was like, "This shit look kind of yeah, short." Yeah. I remember when it started coming back, but these motherfuckers now they're the same length as boxers. Yeah. It's like it's no, I, outside I, I, now. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So for that, uh, those like I saw this one where. But it looked like swim trunk shorts. Right. Where it was like extra, extra short. Yeah. yeah. And I'm saying, I'm like, if I'm not going swimming and I'm, if I'm not also 20 pounds of muscle bigger, I can't wear it. Women want to see dick print and thigh meat, bro. They, they outside. They yeah, wanna, but I, didn't, that's I why skipped leg day for the past 26 years. So, so. these shorts are not for us. But I was going to ask y'all. There's a lot of dick print, though. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he, always, he always finds a way. I always, right? He always finds a I way. Didn't skip that day. <laughs> but I was gonna ask you: Do you, you got to have big legs to do the? But who'd you, what you say big legs or fit legs? Two different things. Either or. I Facts. don't know. That's no, what I'm no, asking. No, no, because you got big legs, but you don't have fit legs. That's my legs is fit. I no, no, not no. Rec- your legs y'all don't can barely y'all fit ain't seen my thighs, nigga. Don't they let me kick my thighs out this motherfucker. Nothing. Don't let me pull my thighs out this motherfucker. Don't let me pull my thighs out. They got them in Husky, nigga. Relax. <laughs> husky hoochie daddies? <laughs> nigga, what? Wow. Husky hoochie daddies. Yeah, What's what up? The husky hoochies. <laughs> Fuck you, me. Our husky hoochie Yo, section is over here. Fuck Dame, you, me. Dame, if I see you in a pair of husky hoochies, <laughs> my I'll, nigga. I'll respect oh. it. I'll respect it. I will respect it. I'm going to cut your I ass, mean, but I'll respect it. That was what saying. You're going to get at least 7 45 second, 7 15 second videos on Instagram. Nah, that's Ooh, cool. I, mean, uh, I get a lot of compliments on my legs, not by but, the way. Nah, but Gentlemen. So, 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 so last <laughs> summer, last summer, I, I ordered from ASOS, I ordered a couple, couple of shirts like this, regular yep. tea. I'm like, yo, summertime, I'm just going to be ordering. Random shit, because I now, last summer, I embraced the fanny pack lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really wear shorts because, or even like regular sweats with no zippers, because I didn't want 
shit falling out of my pocket. Mm-hmm. Once I say, you know what, I'm going to fanny it up. Mm-hmm. I don't mind wearing regular shorts just with a tee. Mad comfortable. Very. Right? So I bought those shorts, little um, sweat shorts and regular shorts. You know what I'm saying? Shit stopped right here. But it was very snug. And it yeah. was definitely given, you know what I'm saying? It was it was showing a lot. Given egg real, real, real pretty. It was it was it was it given was, it was pretty given, it was given husky hoochie. Husky hoochie, feel okay. me? If I knew I knew when I put those shorts on, I was sending a message. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whether I wanted to send the message or not. All right. Uh, but now this summer they're shorter than that. Yeah, no, I'm not is what going, I'm yeah. trying to I'm say. I'm not going no shorter. No, I can't do it. And the tee is getting longer. So low key, it niggas looks- look like women when they go to sleep. Yeah, they shirts is down here. They either got no drawers on or the drawers is up under the shirt. Nah. It's looking crazy. Quick niggas question. is wearing nightgowns. Quick question: Is it gay to go to sleep with just a t-shirt on and no drawers? To me, not. I felt like that's when I was a little kid. Oh, wait, no, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Oh, I got a song. I'm not a T-shirt and no panties on. Hey. You be in the I mean, no, 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 but no, but. T-shirt and no panties but like, on. No, nah, but when I was, yeah, no. Nah, so I you a, go to sleep with a T-shirt and, and no, and no you drawers You did a lot on? of things that were kind of gay. I'm just saying. I, I, I did not. <laughs> but, um, you never wore your kid. mom's shoes? No. Nigga, I I should my, I did. I, I wore my mother's wigs. What are you talking about? Facts, me too. Cut her ass doing it too. What? Like Walk around the house like Shirley Caesar. Nah. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but no, 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 no. So you wear an oversized T-shirt and no drawers on to sleep? When I was a kid, yeah. No, I, no, nigga, now. I, I asked for now. Would you, is, is that gay? What, yes. I don't want to say is that gay because. In my house, if I feel like going to sleep with no drawers on, I will. But. The thing about not having a t-shirt on for real, chest get cold and shit. You get to like seriously, like I'm no, getting no, some no, cover no. for my like. Caveat, some, man, okay. stop, stop moving the goalpost. I asked you one simple. I thing. will. I don't give That's a fuck. It. I feel cool. like I haven't you. been caveat man in a couple weeks. So well, you haven't been here in a couple weeks. That's, That's true. Actually, why. yeah. <laughs> so it's been three weeks. Three weeks ago, you were here. No, no, no. Mad no. caveats. What I said was mm. to my uh, co-partners mm-hmm. is that I will make sure that I make every other show no excuses. I okay. can't be here every week. Okay. Won't miss more than two. Listen, you a businessman. I respect it, man. Hey, we you got to get your business on, bro. You really broke as fuck. I mean, but most that's entrepreneurs That's beginning are. business, that's yeah. The, that's the beginning. That's how it started. That's, that's the that's beginning hey, bro, of hey, bro. an empire. So we was on the road for like, I was on the road for like a week. Okay. Right? Uh, you was in Utah. You was doing some wild yeah, shit out Utah. there. Yeah, Utah. Probably made, and, and this wasn't even a great week. Probably made gross um, about maybe like 9000 You right? sure you want to be telling people your financials? No, because once I tell them how much I spent... <laughs> Remember, I said gross, not net. Got you, got you. We made about, about 8000 plus. Uh, and then we, once we started, once we started doing the math on what, the money we put up, we just try to pay ourselves back. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. we borrow money from a bank, borrow money from our savings account. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? And my savings account is like you and other friends. Mm-hmm. No, so. Uh, It'd be like that. Did the, did the, when we did the numbers, and then we, we said, all right, cool. What's our profit after? Plane fare, gas, this, paying the business back, uh, putting this in where it's supposed to be, putting money over here for repairs, doing this. He's like, all right, how much you made? $413. Mm. That's, listen, but I, I tell you I this. Say, I don't want to do this no more. I, I, tell you, I tell you this, though. <laughs> that is a profit, sir. No, that's a profit. So Yeah, because if you, you just would have broke listen, even, you, 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 you don't want, want the damn to kill yourself. You are. No, no, no. What I'm, no. Breaking even is a is a That's goal. That's a good thing too. It's right. a goal. Yeah. For so me. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's so the you, thing. you made a profit, bro. We you just actually started. said that shit earlier today because we ended up getting coming back. We're coming from El Paso. We ended up got, getting two loads. You said El Paso. El Paso. Yeah. Okay. I, um, I'm, I'm in the truck industry, by the way. We're supposed to get one load at a time, right? We ended up getting Pulse. two loads. Hey <laughs> yo. Hey yes. You got two <laughs> loads at a time. Hey. Oh, hey, that nigga wow. loaded up. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, no. How you made an AO joke whack? Yeah. <laughs> like, he's got me so tight. Hey, like, I was going to add on to it. He just made it corny. No it was, was like, weird. Yeah, yeah, you, Once again, we be shooting. Every shot don't go in. You are definitely right. cool. El Paso. Only your loads go in. El Paso. 
No? All right, all right, all right. It's all right, bad. let's go. It's let's go. It's bad. It's you got a bad. mute button? Like, <laughs> mute that side. Sure, we, we, we doubled up. It was like for 3000 the other one was 2100 Yeah. And we ended up taking both and going, mm-hmm. right? And we were like, yo, bro, if we would only take one, we'd have been in a negative still. Right. But at least like a band. He's like, yeah, amen. Listen, amen, I, for, amen I, for how things work out. I fuck with the fact that you out there getting it. That's that. Hey, yo, that's what I mean, it's about. I, I saw your IG story and shit, and there was mountains with snow. You was in it was, Utah. It was a thousand degrees where we was at. I was like, God damn, it's snowing over there still. How is Utah? Yeah. There's still snow out there? Very Caucasian. Okay. I mean, it's Utah. But a, uh, so I had... Um, but they got I, the jazz. I got the only guys. Utah we know is a basketball. That's what that's it is. Okay, it. Okay. I was in Utah like... I wonder what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> they call it here. They just call it. They play here. The street. Right. They, play, right. <laughs> they call it 21 here. Well, you haven't played basketball here yet. But they call it 21 here? So Utah down here is 21. No, it's Utah. <sighs> the, but it's different rules, though. Like regular shot. Not every, not every shot for us is five. Okay, you're not going to get me frustrated. Nope, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I, just, gonna do I it. ain't going to front. I'm I got mad, too. I'm not going to do it. All right, so Utah is a basketball game. How the fuck you game. change the rules? Yeah. It, and what? The, and y'all don't call different. it 21? Listen, Utah. It's two, two things happening. Utah. No, we don't call in, it 21. Utah Which are, and New York is a, is, a, is a basketball game, like a free-for-all for everybody. But every shot you make is five points. Yes. You make your shot, you go to the foul line. You get three free shots. You yes. get three shots in a row. Yes. That's five points in a row. Then you know, somebody guard up again. You and then you me? bust their ass and, again. And then you get to 100. It's 20 shots. Yes. I right? never did the math that I was telling you. 20 shots. And then that you, don't even you make shoot sense. two more. You call it ice and key. That's New York? Again, right? Yes. That's New one York. One is for three point. The other one is some half court. Half court. That's game. You got to hit that. And if you miss. What do y'all call it? It's cool. You just go back. Utah. If you. Listen. I said Utah. Nigga. No, you fucking, no, you fucking me up. Real quick, I'm so, so you call it 21. Chicago, we call it 21. Okay, but y'all call it Utah. Yes. Okay. Get yes. the fuck out of here. Yes. Relax. Let me finish. So, just fuck me five. up. I didn't know that. Free for all. If it, you don't got enough to play a, a, sport, a game. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. You get a Utah. Sometimes I'd rather play Utah because I don't like. Nah, Utah fun as shit. So you, but in Utah, there is walk, this and carry. Right. You can double dribble or whatever and travel. Yep. Um. You call those calls. Yo, and if you throw the ball wow. out of bounds, you get to reset, right? Yep. So boom. Here's where it's different. Now, I never thought I would ever explain this. Here's where it's different. And I think it's just not, it's not just here. It's it's everywhere else. They call it 21. Yeah. All free points are two. Yes. Right? All- Come to me. Come, keep going. Keep going. Because <laughs> I'm over here like, yes, nigga, that's the game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Run it back. Run it back. You got to understand, brothers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Down here, 21. Mm. All regular points are two. That's it. Okay. Keep right. going. Nah, I understand what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, no, Pastor. Come on, come on, come on, Pastor. All free throws are one. Okay. <laughs> We in church. You call that shit a varsity or a 21? I don't know about a varsity. varsity. Well, no, 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 no. That's what they call it. Okay. So all free throws are 21. You get three free throws, boom, you got five points. The only difference is now with um, with 21, you take way less shots. You take yeah, way less yeah, shots that's than easy. Utah. And then when you get to 21... <laughs> Um, oh, so y'all was playing on easy. Got it. Okay. No, y'all niggas was playing on ridiculous because the Knicks don't ever win. How the fuck is it five points? But nobody nobody from New York playing on the Knicks. Fuck is it five points? Nobody from New York Word. playing on the Knicks. Word. I know like, why. Camelo. Uh, well, Camelo? He, he's in Portland. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's in L.A. Uh, we can't bad. even figure out well, where the fuck is he at. He's exactly. not in the league. He's not in the league? I don't know. He yeah. outside making five points in the streets, apparently. He's, he's killing the Utah. He's busting his ass. <laughs> Going state to state playing 21. Made up ass game. Yo, speaking of basketball, though, can we keep it here real quick? My bad. I want to tell you about my week. Get the fuck out of here. I thought you told us about your week. You was in Utah, Never nigga. Did. And then El Paso. All right, so boom. My week was. You saw 21 Savage. That's not bro. even. That's you, not you, even. That's you not gave even, us mad of your week, my but nigga. But that's not even a highlight. Oh, okay. So, of course, yeah. This nigga's on first take. I was at, I, no, <laughs> <laughs> but shit. So, the highlight of my week. Where, where's my camera? You? Like, okay. All right. I want y'all to understand something, okay? Because I was gone for so long, I went about a month without a haircut. So, my hair oh, started growing in parts of my face that I never knew it could grow. Mm-hmm. And then, 
I got a haircut. Boy got a beard, huh? And now. Okay, beard poppy. Okay. I see you. <laughs> All right. Shit lined up. I'm just saying, it's like. flourishing. I like how I look. Okay? I mean, I you like, look good, brother. You look good. I like this right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look good. I ain't going to hold you. It's extremely struggly. Like, you know, this side I mean, is the best side. But you got to line up. It's, yeah, I can line. Shit is lined up. I, I fuck with it. I got a little, um, a little cancer um, area right here that I'm going to here. Okay. We're we not going to say that. You uh, say alopecia. Yeah, shout out to the I, people I with it. cancer. Like, oh. Jesus Christ. We, God damn. You, we you making Jada Pinkett mad right now. <sighs> she going to have Will smack you. You better relax. And then she's going to say, I hope that. <laughs> but speaking <laughs> of beards, you have a nice lineup as well, brother. You nice Back, and shaved up, say, too. You oh, actually yeah. look good today, my boy. Yeah, you look like you. somebody love you. I, you look I, like, you, yeah. look like you, you were getting ready for somebody. Is your, is your crib clean? And then they canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that he was tired. <laughs> like, you know, you get, oh, that's the worst. You, you get you ready. Clean up now. You clean everything. Bro. <laughs> and sure to hit you with the, hey, oh, hey. It's, it's raining. Oh, it's raining it's tonight. Raining. My bad. <laughs> hey. My bad. We know that Yo. all too well. Oh, when they that's, watch this. Yeah. Oh. It's raining. <laughs> wow. Petty. So let me ask you a question. Is, Did you yeah. just squirt Yo, what's into in your there? drink? He's the wild. Same thing. It's just a squirt top. Is that is that lean? No, you just. Oh, shit, it's purple. You yeah, just squirted it into your cup. Heard it. All right. <laughs> Dirty Sprite. Oh. Um, Damn. All right, so boom. You saw Peter the YSL. Uh, Damn. Yo, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's looking scary. It's looking yo, scary. What is it? I, I would hate to be uh, a part of that label. The whole the whole YSL with the, the Rico and the, the, the Young Thug yeah. and the Gunner. And the, they ain't let nobody out. Nobody. Yeah, up. nobody came up. home. Did you see? Uh, nobody coming home. What's his name? Uh, I forgot the label head. I don't know if it was Kevin Lyles or uh, whoever the label dude. The nigga that sold it to him or that used to have it. No, no, just the 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 guy, the record label guy mm -hmm. admitted to. I'm squirting again, guys. Uh, he <laughs> he admitted that he would pay up to something millions of dollars just to get him out for the security. To keep and him. and the judge was like, nah. Bruh, he'll say, he'll say you he won't take the 1.5 million to just let him out? No, 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 no because no, no, no. it's, it's so bigger was, than that. Well, not only would they pay the bomb, but he was talking about um, uh, for Young Thug security. So Young Thug security will cost from now to January, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Young Thug, Young Thug security will cost over a million dollars in prison. No, to have him if he got out, to, out to keep him. So their their whole worry, and this is all from academics, their whole worry is that um, <laughs> having any of them out, right? They're not worried about them flying away. They're worried about them having um, access to phones and connections and shit like that where they can actually call shots. You know, that's the only thing. Order so more hits. Order more hits. Or, Who the fuck or, or, gonna do that while under watch? Oh, I got you. Intimidate witness. Yeah, I can see. Okay, cool. Witnesses. I can yeah. see that. Okay. So, yeah. so because they don't want to do, they don't want to do that. They want to keep him in jail where they can monitor him. And he's like, look, he'll be monitored um, and I will... Like, you know how much he makes so he can afford it, but I'll also personally guarantee that I'll pay for his to have four or ten. And this is the label guy saying yeah. yes. Okay. But the, the thing is, that's not even his label anymore. I, I want to say I it think, was Kevin Lyles. I'm trying to think who it was. I think I, it, is, it is Kevin Lyles. I think I'm it was sure. Kevin Lyles. Yeah, I want to say Whoever it is, yeah. that's not his label anymore. He's not making any money off of them. So he's but just he putting the, the bread up. Like, yeah, he was just like, like I fuck I, with him. I'm I need trying my to, nigga yeah, home. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. I will pay for I will pay for his security to watch him 24 7. And the judge said no? Yo, bro, here's the thing. You want to know what really fucked them up? So, they, you know, I, I got, I, I've had niggas in jail who've had phones, right? Yeah. And we know, yeah. nigga, Vibes yeah, Cartel we, is still yeah. making music. Right? What the hell yeah. Come on. Niggas in jail have access to phones. Of course, of course. So, but he, so they're smuggling phones in, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. The cop, like, they're letting them smuggle phones in so they could tap the phone. Well, yeah. Which is smart. But they're letting them smuggle the phone in. They're tapping the phone. So Somebody they used the phone, called, and said, yo, yo, there is so-and-so somewhere. I need you to go and dump that somewhere else or discard that before they're they can find idiots. it. I need you to get rid of this. Because they Bro, find if, this, it's over with. If they, a cop gives me a phone, I'm not trusting the phone. I have to get that phone from another source. Why would I trust a phone that a cop gave me? Bro, you got to understand, they're... For years, people have been smuggling phones in. Not through cops. It's not about it's through, through yeah. anybody. No, 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 no. What, what you been, you just, niggas have smuggled shit in through security guards. And it's been that's good how shit. it works. No, but what, what I'm saying is, I wouldn't trust that. I would never trust that. But I, bro, that's how it's been working. Nah, for but that's no, how it's been working. My, for my years. phone gotta come in the old-fashioned way. It gotta come in through the pussy or the woman I'm fucking. 
That's but the not only if way. Gonna, but that's not the if, only way I'm trusting that. Phone. But it's not gonna happen like that in a men's prison. What do you mean? Yes, it does. I get a visit. Shorty, pop the phone now, and then I get the phone. However, I get the phone. <laughs> have you been in prison before? I have. Oh. Wow. Really? You, you a prisoner? You, wanna talk about it? you a no. thug, bro? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you saw set up. You saw oh, set up. finally. Come on. So how was your week? <laughs> Jay Willard. <laughs> Jay Willard. Wait. Killer. Question. You said, "Have I been in a prison before?" I answered that question. I didn't say what side I was on, but have I? Yes, I have. <laughs> what do you mean? What oh, side was you on? Th- don't worry about that. But I have been in a prison before. I, I know the whole process of checking your name in, yeah, waiting yeah, to bro. see the person you're going to see. Yeah. I've done all that. I've never smuggled nothing, so I ain't going to say that. I've never put nothing in nothing. You didn't bring a little uh, mini I, cell phone in your ass? I never heard uh, nothing. I never you know did that. Nah, I never. It got to be a Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bitty one. A little bitty one. A little bitty no, but what, but I, okay, what I'm saying is if, <laughs> it's if, if, if I am a criminal mind. Ugh, like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put a razor if in my If I am a criminal the mind, there's thing? no way I'm trusting the cops. I I'm joking. With anything. Yeah. I don't care how much of a rapport we have because literally what you just said is what I would do. I would tap the phone that the cops are going to bring in. The cop is now a double agent. I'm going to send the cop to be your best friend. He's going to get you a whole bunch of shit to, to get your confidence. You want some weed? The cop going to give you some weed. Yeah, yeah. You want some some You porn, want a good some, mo- some meal? Porn? You want, you you want, want a honey bun and some steak? You feel me? You nigga, do, what? So, so then now you're like, yo, bro, can you get me a phone? He's like, yo, you... you you, you might get me fired, but I got you. Right. I got you because now you built that rapport. I would never trust that. That's stupid as shit. Well, bro, you of course under- I'm going to tap that phone. But you got to understand, though, bro, that has been business as usual for decades. And that's why niggas like, is not as smart as they think usual, they are. But that's how people have really ran their criminal enterprise from jail for decades. But that's also why. I mean, we, we also did see. The, 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 the CO, the lady CO, break the, 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 that, that guy out. The prisoner, and she killed herself, didn't she? Yeah, but 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 more more than that, that no. more than that, that person that's running the streets from the prison, it always ends bad. Bro, streets always like it don't. Do period. you understand? But it don't never end good. I mean, but a nigga already in prison. How much worse can it get? But I'm just saying. It, but, I, more time? But, but what yeah. I mean by that is, it always gets found out. Like it always like there's always yes, an ending to the they movie. Tap of the phone. <laughs> it's always an like, ending it's to the that stupidest movie. Stupidest thing. But there's an ending to ending I heard to I heard that they they got um they got thug on a the, the 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 his lawyer was trying to say oh he's not on drugs he's not doing this he's not doing that you should let him out he's a good guy and then the other the prosecutor was like well no he's calling the phone saying that he's actually withdrawing from lean so he's definitely on drugs they tap all the phones you on the phone just chatting and niggas don't notice by now the jail phone is tapped yeah. No, 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 Why are we no, no, no. having not, conversations not, on the phone? No, but they're not having convos on the jail phone. Not that, no, that not that payphone. He phone was. Joint. Oh, he was on the jail phone. He was on right. the jail phone <laughs> talking phone. about how he's withdrawing. Yeah, that's a bad, that was like a bad you know how you when they have and, visitation and you by the glass talking and, and you I'm think like, it's not recorded? Why like, yo, so, not so, be... so, so did you hide the body? Nigga, yeah, yeah. everybody <laughs> going down, nigga. Everybody. Hey man, listen, shout out to YSL. You know what I'm saying? Oh, niggas is snitching. Oh yeah, no. That, oh yo yo, bro. No, they're snitching already. The 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 the, the, of course. the the judge was like, we got numerous accounts saying that Mr. Jeffries is a hardened criminal. He gonna kill them and their families. Like uh, bro, these niggas your, is ready you, to snitch. You, you it's real, about to get interesting. Here's your real question. You have a family. Yes, I do. Children. Yes, I do. You have. I got family, not children, but I got family, nigga. That he knows of. Cause nah, they ain't be that. slanging that meat. You see that? You see that beard right now? It's connecting. Yeah. You feel me? He, he they, outside. I have to lean they, into it. He outside. They'll, they'll, lean into it. They'll go. They'll go for you first. You got good hair. Feel me? On Which your, is on, hair on though? Your beard. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> How we think the same joke at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as some of it good, I'm happy. Nigga. He only Shit. use beard oil. <laughs> That's yeah, it. That's not, all not only oil I need. Nigga. But nah, uh, if let's say we get in trouble, <laughs> I use some. Mm-hmm. And there's a Rico right here. Yeah. A Willow Wednesday's Rico. I'm not if, snitching. I'm hold holding on, you down. Hold on, hold. There you. I hear you. You feel me? Yeah, I hear you. I don't. I don't that was whatever. But <laughs> let's say they say, "Yo, look, we're gonna give you." You're going to get 30 years. 
<laughs> 30 is a long yo, time. Yo, 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 yo. You heard what he said? I'm not saying shit. I'm holding you down. Oh, I, quick. I, I, he I said 30. He said, whoa. I want to hear your scenario. I want to hear your scenario. Let me hear your scenario. Let me say, yo, when you 30 years. Yo. We just it. need to know what was Lamar and Dame's involvement in the enterprise. Let me tell you what you did. I'm not snitching. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to hold y'all tell down. Tell me how you worked with them. If not, you get 30 years. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to go ask them. If they help us, you get another 15. 45 years. Mm-hmm. But I can say, all I can speak for is myself. Right, give me a second. <laughs> okay, got more. All right. Uh, shit. I'm same. ready to answer, too. No, 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 no. Same story for you. Yeah. The same story for you. 30 years. Okay. 30 years. Facts. What, what are you doing? Now, I'm going to say this. Um, be, because I... And if you snitch, you get a month. <laughs> on house arrest. Okay. So, what I would say... Because, matter of fact, no. That's a caveat. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick to what you're saying. No, I'm, but I'm saying no, no, that's... No, no, no. That's, I, that's I, the no, whole story. But, but you said wait, that... Wait, no, no, I, but, I just checked myself. But that's the deal. Uh, yeah, I, 30 I, years, yeah. snitch. Yes. A you month. Get, you get 30 days. 30 days. On house arrest. To, to... You know what I mean? To say what it do. I... One Thirty year. years to not snitch. My bad, I fucked One it up. Thirty years to not. Snitch. No, but okay. I hate this, but it matters. Are we actually guilty of some shit? Right, yo, and that, honestly, that matters. That's what like, I was gonna say. Like, that, that, My only, I, I, I hate, to, I hate to be caveat man. I don't but want that, you know what? I, you know what? I was gonna say, hey, hey, hey. do we know that you wait, committed wait, wait. a crime? So I had a conversation with someone we both know very close. That has to do with this, this place, mm-hmm. and he gave me a scenario that's similar to that. But he was like, yo, yo, Barry did that shit. Somebody was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. No, if you, we both got in trouble, but if you don't take this charge, because this right here is not mine, it, I'm telling them it's not mine, because I'm already getting charges, but I'm not taking this one as well when I know this is yours. You feel me? It's like if me. Yeah, but that's, that's fucked up. I, no, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. So different, bro. If I come into your, you car just switched it before we answered. No, no, no. If but, I come into but, the car and I drop no, a gun but, in your but car. you just no, but can I can I speak? Can I can I speak? Can I speak? You just switch it. Let's do both. Let's say. We are guilty. Stop switching so, so, so I can't wait, answer. So wait. I'm guilty. Okay, yes. You're just, you're How long so, is it? So, so what I'm saying what I'm saying is <laughs> if, oh, if, if I'm if, stupid, she did though. But if if I'm already if I'm already hit, I'm a done deal for me. And I could potentially stop my man's from doing anything, I'm already done. I'll just take it. I'll just be yeah. one more done. Cool, but you're still good. My the way I've been raised, the way I think and feel, I'll just take that. If I'm facing life and there's a gun in the car and you're you have nothing on you, I'm not gonna be like, well, shit, that's his gun. I'm already done here. Yeah, What's man. more done? Wait, but I that's but that's why I say, that. but but that's yeah, why I say, bad, but that's why I say, yeah, you 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 move the. I didn't move the goalpost. Yeah. You move the goalpost so, before so, we got to answer. So, so go ahead and answer. Right. You're about, so, to, you're about to do thirty years. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Bring it back. So the the biggest thing is, are you guilty? Like, we're are all, you actually we're guilty? All guilty? Hold on. But that's but that's important. No, it is important. It's very important. That's the most important. If okay. I'm not guilty for shit, I'm like nigga, I ain't guilty for a mother. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, we are. Oh, oh, we're guilty. So that's what, that's <laughs> that what I want to do. Here's, I want to do two it changes things. It. I want to do two things. Yeah. Yes. One, we're all guilty. We're all guilty. Okay. Got you. Okay. And fair enough. Trying to separate us to get information. Whoever gets information gets a deal. Oh, oh, and who blaming and, on who? And, and yeah, so I'm, okay. not, I'm not snitching. And yeah, I'm not snitching. You're I'm not snitching. also you're not guilty, but you know who is guilty. But if you don't, but speak that's a up, completely different scenario, my nigga. I, mean, I, mean, I want two answers. You two scenarios. Okay, well, <laughs> answer A: If we all guilty, then I'm I'm not I'm not a snitch. Yeah, I'm not snitching. I'm not snitching. So you do it thirty years, bro. If we all did some shit and you caught me, guess what? That's 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 a casualties of the fuck. That's, What's the casualties of a dice game? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. You, you, what is it? You do the crime, you do the time. Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? I was so involved. I've, inc- I've, I've already, I would do, I, I would do, shit. I would do 30 years as a man if I was also guilty. That's what I'm trying to say. If I, if as I was a man, involved and I did some shit, if I was a, a man, part of it. Now, and that's what I said. If when you I first, drove the getaway car, yeah, like, yeah. like, I like, like when, it rem, when you first said it reminded me of the Bernie Mac joke. When he said, I'm about to go to jail off something that another motherfucker did. Mm. He said, I'm in church. Like, who are you, punk? <laughs> nigga, I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this I motherfucker did because I ain't do shit. Like, fuck you. You going to jail, so, nigga. So, so, so the second situation. The other you, one is. Are you, if, if you know. That I'm the one that committed a crime, mm-hmm. but you guys all got caught with me. 
or, yeah. or whatever. Just standing there. It's my gun. The they bust in right now. It's my weed, you the my one that crack, fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, and I say, oh. Yeah. You say, oh. You say, oh. They say, hey, y'all all getting charged? Or can I tell me who it belongs to? I'm not taking I, that charge. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm not gonna, taking that one. I'm, I'm going to say this, and I mean this wholeheartedly. If we are, t- are if we are innocent bystanders and you on some wild shit, if you don't take that shit, I no longer respect you. Right. And I'm definitely telling. <laughs> like, right. No, because the the way I, my moral compass, if th- if we just chilling in the cops busting here right now, right now, and I got wild shit on me, I'm not gonna be like, well, I guess we all going down. No, I'm gonna <laughs> eat that. It's me, nigga. These, what these was that shit? People. Oh, we caught. No, like, no, the, we the, ain't caught. <laughs> you caught. Like I said, that, <laughs> you mean we that's, caught? That's my moral yeah, compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna look at y'all and be like, all right, I guess we all going down because I got some wild shit on yeah, me. No, yeah. I'm gonna stand in front of that bullet. I'm gonna take that because it is me. Now, I I expect the same thing, and if I don't get that same thing, oh no, when I'm free and I'm, I'm out of jail, in that motherfucker, Ooh. like, nope, on sight. I'm singing. When you're out of jail. You're getting thirty. <laughs> no, but I don't, I don't. I don't give a fuck. But I don't consider that snitching. I don't consider that's that. That's, that's actually, I don't consider that. I don't consider that. that, that snitching. There's a difference between snitching and reporting a crime. I need people to understand. Well, no, no, that. yeah. We know <laughs> like, that. people, we know if that. you were to, to report a but, crime is but, different from snitching. But to voluntarily report a crime is no. snitching. Major question. Do you, this is, this is, I like, think. This is, this voluntarily? is, voluntarily? Yes. Yeah, voluntarily. If, if you, if if you, you see some shit, way, yes. If you go out your way, if you call the help hotline. No, 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 wait, wait. Are you a civilian or are you a part of the game? And, and I and think mm. and that's the only difference. Are you a civilian where you're like, this is my community? And I promise and, and you, this, I this is why I hate that. street codes. I, I hate street rules. Well, I think, so many, I'm not going to lie. Academics I, have been talking hella disrespectful to street niggas. Cause he's like, yo, you niggas lose no matter what. No, no. I mean, the system is not was, meant for us to no, win. No, no, not the system. But, yeah, the system it, isn't it, meant for us to lose. It, but I even think, the system of being a street nigga is like, it's stupid. It's like, yo. It's blind every, loyalty. Everything is blind loyalty. That's why I couldn't be crip for more than three weeks. Because mm-hmm. you just tell me to snuff random niggas. Who are these niggas? But not for nothing, in high school, wild Mexicans was getting knocked out for no reason. Bro, I'm sorry. Wild Haitians was getting knocked out. Yeah, like, for, like, for no, no reason. reason, bro. Like, just for no and then reason. They came back with blind a loyalty. Like Same version. Chicago. GDs was fucking up niggas. For no reason. Fucking Blackstones fucking Beat that no nigga reason. up. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, what do you do? Nothing. Crazy. Right. hard. Like, I don't know. Okay, so let me just have, real quick. I don't want to talk about gang banging shit, but just for three seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds. Past. In Chicago, um, you was either GD, or you was either folks or you was Stones. GDs is, you know, yep. um, gang disciples. Mm-hmm. Stones is, is Blackstones. But they had some shit called Neutron, which is just oh. the regular nigga walking to school. Oh, some science ass nigga. No, no, but okay. it don't matter. That's just what they called it. Jimmy. So, no, so it's like, fuck are you? You like, I'm Neutron, bro. I'm just going to class. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a nigga. Yeah, that's neutral. Okay, I'm going to school. So we had neutral. You said yeah, Neutron, which neutron, is stupid. But that's just, they, they tried neutral. to make it sound cool, too. I'm Neutron, nigga. How you got to dance, bro? Neutron. Relax. No, you got to dance. Okay, nigga. cool. You just an in between ass nigga. But at okay. the same time, I'm always Neutron. Nigga, pff, I ain't game on nothing. But, but that's what I was asking y'all. Did y'all have that? Yes, we had neutral. Yes, you had neutral. You could say that. I'm be, I'm be honest. Like if niggas I'm, rolled I'm, up on I'm, you, you yeah, like, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm a civilian. Yeah, I am going to work. Hey, bro, <laughs> like, hey, bro. That- From my experience, like, if you was, if you was wearing particular, like, on some LA shit, at one point, if you were wearing particular colors, they might press. They might, attr- it would be a, they'll be attracted to want to press you. Yeah. But. But could you just say you, like, what you, did if, you? If they just pressed you, and you're like, yo. Yo, what set you bang, bro? Like, yo, bang? I don't bang bro, shit. Bro, yo, I'm, bro. I'm chilling. I'm not about none of that. You like, I work at Amber Crime they're, and this is Red Day. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they're, they're not going to stop. This is Red Day at Amber Crime, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want you to understand. I want you to understand. If some gay bangers is, is pressing you. They're not going to stop. And they ask stop. you, yo, yo, what you bang, bro? You blood? You it's already too late. And you say, nah, I don't bang yeah. anything. They're going to be like, oh, all right. Let me see that watch. Facts. Let me see that wallet. Yeah. They're not gonna not still press you. Yeah, you're good. Now, yeah. now they just know that. Flip them they're, pockets. They're not gonna. Nigga. They actually might press you even harder only because you don't have no. You got uh, no protection. <laughs> who? Not, you got no backing. There's no retaliation <laughs> at all to beat your ass. I'm just so, fucking you up. So growing up, that was always my problem with Chicago, because I was like was being nice. being a person that never was left or right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it it, it would bother cool. me. It's like 
damn, bro. You know how you'd be like, I'm hungry. You don't run to the store? It's a nigga outside of the store. you like, God damn it. I'm just here for chips, bro. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck, I nigga? Yo, yo. Ruffles. That's Listen, it, nigga. Man. Like, why I got to be? It's black. Nobody wish, wears black. You know what I wish <laughs> we had back in the day? <laughs> DoorDash. Yo. If we had DoorDash 20, uh, 15 years ago, I would have avoided a lot. It would have stopped a lot of fights. Old young niggas. No, but it would have stopped a lot of fights. Because if your we, food was delivered straight to your house. I mean, yeah. But to be honest, niggas in the projects would have been ordering DoorDash. To rob you wasn't going to get your food, man. nigga. Oh, <laughs> I live close to the projects, but not in, in the projects. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Hey, bro, I'm going to be putting Fair projects enough. apartments on Airbnb in New York. Who the fuck would want to walk into Brownsville, <laughs> nigga, as an Airbnb? Like, What? <laughs> Never. Hey, I would never. Hey, man. I'm, I'm loca- not booking that. My location going crazy. Nigga, Real quick. I, but it's like three blocks away from Albany Projects. I, I mean, no, but you, okay, stop. No, 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 but Crown Heights is different. Crown Heights is very but different. I thought, wait, is wait, different. Wait, wait, Real quick. I had that conversation now. I got the two-bedroom joint, and I was like, maybe I could Airbnb my room. <laughs> Yo. You can. You niggas can. was like, ain't nobody going to live with you. The way you live. Oh, the way you live. No, no, no. Not the way. Oh, where? 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 There's niggas no, like niggas ain't where? about to be in a fucking oh, okay. with you, nigga. You live yeah, in a depends, hood, It depends. It right? depends. If you do your research and you want the private roommate, you do it for like thirty to sixty dollars a night. I actually might not be a thirty sixty dollars. Is it? Oh shit! I come oh, through business, man. No, no, yo, yo. So when I'm in no, no, no but I'm listening. Hold on. It's a market. For so this. what you mean? It's a market for East Listen, Point ass niggas uh, that want to. Hold on. Okay. So <laughs> when I'm in other that. states and I'm like, like shit, we not getting nothing out of here. Yeah. It's already eight o'clock or whatever. Yeah. Look for a B and B. Thirty to forty dollars for a night for a room might come up to like sixty to eighty dollars in total. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, motherfuckers be like, yo, check in between nine p.m. and eleven p.m. Right, period. My check in is so low, so late. Cause we want you to come in and go to sleep and get the fuck and out. And get the fuck out. Facts. So check in is after nine p.m. before eleven. You have two hours to get here. It's a space. It's a bed. It's you a bed, sleep. It's a space, you good. Might, uh, make it an automatic check in. Get your ass in. Get your ass out. Yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. We you got might- some. You might have just preached to me, though. I ain't going to front. I ain't going to front. No, no, for real. We do that with, like, five, maybe eight times. We got shit to talk about, and we still stuck on our weeks. Work. I, I, we I no, fuck that. No, we're not I, gonna do I, this. We're not gonna do this. Y'all miss, this. y'all miss me, huh? We're not. No, we y'all don't. miss me. This is no. a great conversation. Shut up. It was a great conversation. Y'all miss me. What, yo, right. man, should happen this week. We gotta right. fucking talk about it. Let's get it. Um, I feel like I don't want to start there. No. We're not gonna start there. Not the, um, no, let's do start. Do something spicy. Not the, can, can we start with with with, with Lori Harvey there we go. and yeah, and yeah, fucking yeah, Michael yeah, B. Jordan? Lori is a bad motherfucker, bro. We, 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 we got all right. Good looking black. We got to but we got to no, be she, able to have. A, she's a very attractive. Got, I was about to say we got to be able to have this conversation Pick outside of that. Snicker. She's, no, she, she's a very attractive woman. She's very attractive. But she's an ain't shit motherfucker. Listen, I heard her name for a whole year before I actually googled her. What it is. Lie, I said, damn, I understand. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. okay. We are we're on record talking about Lori Harvey on this show. Yeah. Like seriously. She she's she's bad. I call And I, then the fact that she's not really Steve Harvey's daughter. No, but no, 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 no but, but, Did y'all know that, right? Why you always know bro, some old I, people I, shit that I, we don't no, know? No, but we we spoke about this. Because one, we spoke about it, but two, we researched. She's she's adopted. He he adopted her. Oh, okay, he, so to be honest, daughter. he raised mm. her, but I'm just saying. Let's not say uh, he's not really. No, a because if you think like of Steve Harvey daughter, you think of a woman that look like him with the lips, and you know what I mean. And, and the suits, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the suits. And the you suits. Think that's Steve yes. Harvey daughter. Yes. Is she supposed to be wearing pants? Suit, suit? Nigga. Every wearing Steve Harvey daughter wears nah, suits. Nah, nigga. The only suits I see her wearing is swimsuits, and I like that too. Exactly. But Steve Harvey don't swim. He black. You don't know how to swim. You don't fuck with water. Okay. What I'm I'm just joking. What I'm what I'm saying is you gonna keep it honest or no? Go for it. No, 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 no. no I'm asking you because I, I want to. Is she a whore? I want to see where your mindset is. Why is this where we started? Is that the question or is it? No, because she's saying? a hoe. So this. No, is I, we... I called her a hoe the last time we spoke, and you I did. was killed for that. Why is she a hoe? What? Because she jumped from dick I to dick answer. like Tarzan. She's just swinging. But am I mad? No, I'm not mad. And I, 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 so I like this conversation. I like Tarzan. No, no, I, I love this conversation. Uh, I, I, yes, just like that. That's how I, she be bro, I love, <laughs> I love this conversation personally because we are guys and we get killed for this kind of thing, right? If a guy is jumping from chick to chick to chick to chick, a la future, 
He's the most toxic nigga. He no, gets killed no, no. in he's, the media. He's way different. He's the, it, it's different. That's, no, it's, I like it's Drake. Different. No, it's, it's different. Drake, it's, say some wait, shit to wait, Drake. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It, the DMs it's it's, o- it's only different you know because he, he has kids that. with these people, right? That's, cool. That's why it's different. Cool. So yeah, it's different yeah, with it's the different. kids. We're not talking about but, Nick Cannon, too. Okay. Yeah. So, Nick, oh, he's bad, Nick too. But Nick Cannon got kids. So, like you said, Drake. Drake would be the perfect analogy, right? Because Drake's slinging dick. But no kids. He got one kid, one. but that's it. I mean, you're allowed one fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Not to say the kids are fuck up, but you're, <laughs> you're allowed one. We know it's a fuck Yo, up. Yo, Drake is Drake. Drake. with a whole keep verse it, it. in six years. It's okay. It's okay. Keep, cool. keep, keep, keep the point, cool. though. Okay. But, but no, Lori, but, but. Yeah. Stay, stay where we at. Lori Harvey, since the beginning of Lori Harvey being Lori Harvey, yeah, the, has the, been jumping from nigga to nigga, just upgrading, right? She went from Diddy's son. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Going, oh. That is the only one where I can agree that that is some supremely ho shit. Her son and the daddy? She went from the son to the father, and no one batted an eye. No one said. No oh, one said. Oh, more, more importantly, more, more importantly, I'm not going to say no one because the male community said something. The female community said, yes, sis, get level your bag. Up, level, level up. Level up. Period. You went from junior to senior. Level up, You period. went from broke nigga to all the niggas. Like, like she, they I, were I so to, excited. It was like, I wanted to know, like, if Sean act disrespectful, walk across the hall, baby. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, but that's what that what was said. Great. Literally, w- women were like, okay, yeah, you, you were dealing with the junior tyke. Go ahead and get the tycoon. Like, they were saying that, right? So, cool. So, she went from son to father. No one batting a die, batted an eye. She then went to another relationship. I'm another, sorry, another, relations. And, another, and, another, and then another relations. And then another relations. And she's just bouncing through the social. The, she's being a social butterfly. She's just outside with different niggas doing her thing. And women were, as a whole, yes, sis, do your thing. You're killing it. These niggas do it. You do it, too. You're beautiful. You're young. Live your life. Don't settle down with none of these niggas. These niggas ain't shit anyway. She then now runs in. And I love this for real. She runs into the head of the good niggas. This is the head of the good niggas. For, for if, our generation. For, yo, if, 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 if you ask any woman about Michael B. The Jordan, men, they love know, Michael B. Jordan. Love him. He can't do no wrong. He looks good. He, 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 he has good work. He's a good actor. Um, he, he's not, he don't have no bad scandals out there. He's not and a cra- fuck and, nigga. And, and like, everybody says he's such a good person. He, not just based everybody, off of the, everybody. We don't right? know because obviously we so ain't now, met a nigga. He could be a like, piece of shit. He's, he's, let's bring it back. Let's he's bring like it back. a gritty Russell Wilson. No, no, no. He, he, he he's is. Just, no, he's an equivalent Russell Wilson, to be honest with you. Whoa, 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 wait. I get what you're saying on Gritty. No, I, I get it. But he's okay. just, mm, he's, 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 he's right. You know how women feel like Russell like, Wilson ain't right? He's the good he's nigga. He's right. Like, and, like you, you know what I say, Gritty? Like, the, I get like what you're the saying. the movie roles of him playing the, the bad the gangster, guy. Gangster, the bad guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the villain. Yeah. They, women get to see that edge. Cause it's, it's, and yeah, be aroused. Like and only, we, <laughs> we can't see an edge because the only time Russell is, being aggressive, he has a helmet on, so we don't know. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. So you get to see that. So you have that balance. So, but, so but what Russell, I'm saying is, she she no, meets no, 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 she she meets she meets <laughs> Bowser, Bowser of the good niggas, <laughs> like it's the boss, the and king she, of the, the, the king bad of good, good niggas. niggas. And, Super Mario, that and you feel me? And she and and everybody's like, oh shit, this is it. This is it. <laughs> this oh, this is the young. Beautiful socialite that's just going through social media, and she's the darling, and she looks good, and she says all the right things, Yo. and she might possibly could smell good, and her I'm bath gonna... water tastes like a censure, and it's it's like everything is going good for Shorty. Not a censure though. Yeah, the water, censure. yeah, the pH is amazing. Oh, like, shit. and 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 then you you're in a relationship for a year plus with this man, and everybody's like, okay, this is it, this is this is. It's a done deal. It's a yeah, wrap. Yeah, yeah. And then stories come out that she didn't want to commit, and they broke up. Oh, I, oh, I, yeah. I had mad questions. I had mad like side. I feel like each topic I can make into a whole episode. I had mad side. Like, okay, I'm gonna just name them all. We can go from there. Cool. Okay. One was. Ah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Mine is short. As far as what I'm gonna say. You gonna keep him? Can you keep? Don't, your, for, don't forget, please. Please. Because right, mine ain't long. So, so go as ahead. far as what I'm saying, we know yours ain't long. We know, <laughs> we know. That's not. 
That's exactly <laughs> come on, what it she said. It ain't long, That's bro. where I was going. Come, come on. But that's what I'm saying. So mm. the rumor is his dick is small. No. Oh, wow. That's I mean, I wouldn't I be surprised. I, I, I don't I, believe that. I, once again, I don't give a fuck. I'm just yeah, simply. Yeah, no, no, but 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 that's what the key. You said each point. You said you got a few. So yeah. I'm just. I just want to say this first. You got to keep them. So that's why she left. So wait, she was no, not I'm, satisfied. no, no. What I'm saying is that, that was the rumor. The rumor about Michael B. Jordan is once his. You know how niggas pictures leak and you know women take pictures of you, you whatever the hell. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So it was this thing. It and li- honestly, it was probably about two years ago, and it was this thing because it was like Killmonger got a little dick. What? And like it was just big. It was on social media. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just a where thing. Was, where was I? Who the fuck? <laughs> not giving a fuck about shave room, bro. Okay, you know, cool. You're right. You know what I mean? Right. Like who the fuck? I'm talking about that moment. Like his 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 meat was out there the same way how we talked about safari meat was out there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, got you. We talked about niggas meat. Like, like it's, it was out there, bro. Yeah, it's it like me, that. nigga. It, fuck it. No, but we did. We had mad dick shows, bro. Fuck what you talking about? I mean, we did. We definitely talked we about did. Isaiah Rashad dick being out. I'm we just did. saying. We did. <laughs> or a dick being in. Period. That Whatever. Too. His mouth. Whatever. <laughs> that too. What I'm trying to say is so You're so terrible. so so that you are. That's bad. That's so the so rumor. Bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. It's catching funny, a, Isaiah. Come on now. Nigga, catching the loads. <laughs> That's exactly. That boy was trucking. All I'm trying to say. <laughs> Picking him up and dropping him off. All I'm trying to say. In Utah. So I, just like see, I was about to say so in Utah. <laughs> Working stick. As, uh, as they was doing the 21, they realized that. Um, <laughs> No, they real. Uh, th- no, I'm just joking. No, in real life. Um, no, no. Th- so the rumor was for real, for real, for real, that that Michael B. Jordan just he wasn't packing. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't pack the truck up for the load. You know what I'm saying? So, so and that was like a thing. And then we laughed about it. We made jokes about it. And then we just left it alone. Two years later, whatever. He's with the bad one of the quote unquote hyper, you know quoted baddest chicks ever. She leaves him too. Mm. No, no. You wanna know why I don't believe that? Thank you. Come on back. Why I don't really like believe it or I gotta, even I gotta rebuttal after care your rebuttal. about it? Yeah, let's go. If Shorty Box is trash, you got about f- three months with me, Tops. If we get to three months. You're now talking my point, Lamar. Like, go ahead. Like, 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 keep going, keep going, like, like, keep going. If, if, Graduate if sex, that. So understand like your boom. Sex is extremely important in uh in a romantic relationship. Yeah, extremely. You can act like it's not. You go ahead and wait to a marriage. That's you your got business. That. Yeah, yeah. Why the divorce rate so high, right? That's fine. Fact. Sex be trash. But you, you, you have sex with somebody, right? And then it don't hit the way it's supposed to or what you expect, right? But because you like everything else about them, you keep making give it, it work. Chances, you still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. so you know what? Yeah. Yo, he, we can <laughs> learn. We can preach, coach nigga. Him. I would say preach, brother. Preach. Talk that shit. It, it's to, like, there's a there's a there's a sex limit. Like after after ten times, that I know. Like okay, look. This, this ain't it. This motherfucker hasn't learned this ain't it. nothing. This ain't She's it. She's using teeth. She, when she ride after three minutes, her knees hurt. And she always running, always screaming, and I don't ever be in yet. I don't want to play this game no more. Mm-hmm. And everything feel like sandpaper. Oh, my I God. I got to go. I already know mm-hmm. that after the, for me, after the second time, I always go two. The first one, sometimes it's bad. Second it time is to commit. You know what I'm saying? She stayed for a year and a half. She did not leave him because that man's sex was bad. And that's what I... Come, come on now. She come through L's. That sex was bad. That, but that's what I'm so, saying. Why I brought so, it up? In my personal opinion, I think that, well, number one, I don't think Lori's a hoe. I, I don't either. I, I am not saying this to hopefully smash Lori Harvey one day. You but know you that want that. Comes I mean, across, she throw it. You know what I'm saying? Lori, I'm 27. We're not that too far off from each other. In the that's same cool. Age. You ain't got no kids. You I'm feel me? No kids. I'm a catch. You feel me? My knees is out. You know what <laughs> Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm transparent. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that that's shit. Good. So, I like that's that good. shit. No, that was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah, we see you. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you see me? <laughs> you see me? <laughs> that's good. Like, that's good. I'm not hiding nothing. I ain't fake. Yo, no, that's no, no. good. That's so, funny. So that's funny. I don't funny. think she's a whole number one. Number two. I don't think she's a whole. I, um, we going to double back to that point, though. I, I love the we fact got that technically she's, uh, I looked up the list. Like we, uh, when he was at dinner, I looked up the list. Been about six guys, seven guys, six, seven guys out there in the past four years, right? Three or okay. four years. And 
seven guys in four years is not that bad to me. No, nah, it's because not. when That's I not. go it's over not. my last four years. Oh, wow. We don't got to We don't got to get into got it. Got shit on me. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay. So I'm not about to look at her crazy. And then the yeah. other point I want to make is, is that from what it seems, is that to get bucks, you it has to be you got to claim me in some way. You gotta. When I say you gotta claim, you gotta claim me like this is damn near a relationship because everyone knows it's not like Hollywood things. Where, boom. We think this person messed around. We think that person. No, you know we messed around. Here's a picture. They posted me on their story. We on vacation. They posted me on the page. Yeah. They're, I'm not just a smash and dip. I'm. I, I'm getting. I'm. I'm. They're. They put me in that girlfriend position. So if I was a woman, is Lamar swaying my opinion? If I was a woman, well, I never thought. If she was I a was hope. a woman, if I was a woman, I would. And I'm. Going through my whole phase because technically she's twenty five, so the, so technically the past five years has been her whole phase. She's she is whole phasing at an elite level right now. Yeah, well, okay, she um, she, she I, is okay. Lamar's not swaying my opinion. Okay, I'm back to my opinion. Okay, okay. hold your opinion. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. I want to say is she's dating. <laughs> she is dating. <laughs> It just so happened that she walked into it at the top level. No, 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 but no, no, she she wasn't dating Michael B. Jordan. They were in a relationship. Yeah. And, and How so, many relationships have you had before you was you no, had no, relationships, no, nigga? But that's not dating, you can bro. Pay your body count of lawyers now. That's not dating. Let's let's let's. You've dated for years, and then wait, no, wait, wait, I have not. What you mean? What's not dating? What's not dating? All right, fair enough. Yeah, because let's break that down. Because women date differently than men. Being in a committed public relationship is not dating. She's okay, no longer cool. dating. So what's what's uh, what's what's your qualm? Um, okay, so my qualm is that, to be honest with you, the only reason why that I'm here now is because I called it back then. And I wish that somebody can go back and watch the episodes because everything that I'm saying now is coming to fruition. No, you said it. She is the type that's going to bounce around for years. This is a, I I, I said this before, I'll say it again. She's a, she's a junior Bernie's Burgos. That's how I see her. Fine as fuck. No, fine. No, f- bro, I'm not, I'm not taking nothing away from your looks. She's fine yeah. as fuck, boy. That don't, Bernie's. That don't, that don't negate. Bernie's what you, did what the same doing. shit, but she did it on a New York level, right? Now, if you multiply that times celebrity status, yeah. we now have uh, Lori Harvey. Or Kim Kardashian. No, Kim Kim is out of here. Kim, she, Kim she, just, she's, no, she's out of here. She's, she, she set the bar. She, she set the bar. She is on another yeah, she, stratosphere. Wonderful. Right? Yeah, she, she set the bar. But what I'm saying is, because because I saw the game. Don't lawyer, don't talk about Kim K like that. I mean, listen, do what you do. But before I saw the bar, before, no, before I saw the game, before I saw her entering to the game, I spoke on it, and I'm still here today to say that I'm right. What I said back then is the same thing I'm gonna say now. Literally, she's gonna bounce around because she doesn't want to settle with none of these niggas. She is the female future. Only thing is, she don't got kids. Nobody's gonna trap her. Michael B. Jordan at 35, she's 25. It's already a 10-year gap. Mm. Michael B. Jordan being the good guy, right? Mm. Women, and that's why I say I love this matchup because now we have women looking at a woman like, get your bag, sis, but also looking at a nigga that they put on a pedestal like, no, this is the it guy. We all need to be this guy. He looks good. He treat women good. He don't have nothing, no outstanding kids, he no scandals. He, so, he, so he, he, well, let, me, let me go. Let me go. He's the nigga. He is their ideal man. So now you got the woman that they say, yes, get your bag. Fuck these niggas. Do what you got to do. They doing it to us. You got that woman going up against the man who is the man of all men to women. And she turned around and told this nigga, I'm good. I, I can't I be with you. I just want to compare it to one be, more thing. Be, because you want to settle down and I don't. What I'm saying is, is I, I literally called this. She's not going to settle. Bro, one, she's 25. If you think she's settling down anytime soon, you're bugging. She's a good-looking woman in the, the top A++++ plus 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 yeah, of celebrities. Make sense she's not age. settling down with nobody. Yeah. It's not going to make sense for, to her until she's over 30. For me to... Ex- when she's washed, just like Bernie's. And that's what I literally said. Yeah. She's a so, junior Bernie's. So it's the same thing we watching. So here's my thing. Here's my thing. 
Ciara did meet her Russell Wilson after 30. But Ciara also wasn't what? Lori Harvey. Not she that was fun, she was she, Ciara no but she wasn't playing like that. She was not playing like that. She was with I mean, 50 and I mean Ciara Bow-Wow was with 50 and Bow Wow but and I, like three other niggas. But that ain't no, hard. No, Lori Harvey is playing, my no, nigga. No, Lori Harvey is being Diddy, celebrated. Diddy's son and then Diddy is okay, different, okay. If you my nigga. Okay, you take out the combs and the combs. No, you can't. That's her resume. <laughs> we that black people, sense. we need combs. Stupid. But you can't. That's a bad joke again. I'm trying. This, this episode is going to be called Dame's Bad I'm Jokes. I'm trying. I'm you don't terrible. need a comb. At all. What? No. I do. No. Really, you should be brushing your beard. After like, I got a beard, I start doesn't doing work. beard, doesn't work. Buffer. Get back beard learning. And Matter of fact, go ahead, beard guy. Give, give him beard Come on, man. Give me, give, give me, give me, give me right get now right. beard information. Is, How do I know. do this? I'm letting you know. Honestly, so first you got to do, you got to condition your beard and shampoo the beard. All right? So when you're laying in bed, you got to get a beard mask. Okay? I got a whole beard. I got a beard mask. You got a beard mask? Absolutely. It looks like a COVID It's a beard bag. It clips around my ears. like a beard bag? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it feels okay. amazing. Yeah, it's okay to say I have a nappy beard now, but when I'm your age, damn, in like sixty-three years. Whenever God allows me to be. <laughs> no, no, you're not wrong. But can we get back to Lori Harvey, please? I'm so sorry. All right, so he old as shit though. But still, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm like, I love you. 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 I've had beards for years. Like, I'm saying he old as shit. No, years. So, so here's my thing. Do you, is a relationship, oh, I want to say it perfectly. Do you throw the relationship away if someone's ready for a next level, but you're not? You kind of have to. Give me, can, give can me, we, give can, me, we, can yeah. we talk about it yeah. before you change it? Because you know you like to ask a yeah, question. Yeah, you, be, you change a changing it. ass nigga. Can we answer this question, can we ask, please? Can we stay here? Can we answer this question? Can I just give like a No, th- oh you can't give. Oh, my God, no. Answer this question, Bro, please. No. Answer the question. Fuck. Answer the question. <laughs> Shit, he's about to change it. Can you stay here? And I, I'm can can you stay here in a relationship if the person that you want to be with says I don't want to be with you like that? No, 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 no. no. Can you can you close? Are you can you continue? Because I'm talking about dating. Yes. I'm talking about serious relationship. Yep. And I'm talking about talking. Okay. Right. If, if they someone, don't want something if else, if someone is ready for the next level, got you. Got you. You are not ready for the next level. Okay. Or if you're ready for the next level, but they're not they're ready. They're not ready for it. So you're, 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 there's two differences. You still okay. found a way do to you, ask two questions. Do you go ahead? <laughs> yeah, because you know I like to do both sides. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> do you go ahead and... <laughs> See, <laughs> but if he would have just leaned the other way... <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't understand. I like, hate you. I hate you. Do you... <laughs> if, if someone that you're romantic with, whether it's dating... Um, in a serious relationship or, you know, pre-marriage. We get it. A it person. wants to get to the next level or you want to get to the next level, but they don't, whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you now give up on the relationship or that, that union or do you make it work? Okay. And you need this answer what not, from both sides. So, first situation. If, uh, if, 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 she, I'm, if she wants more mm-hmm. and, and I'm not ready, don't. yes. do I give up? For a lot of years, yes, 100%, because I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. And just to say it plain, I'm focused on what I'm trying to build. So pretty much kind of fuck what you're talking about. I'm I'm happy that you love me. You're a great motherfucker, but I got to move on. And vice versa. um, If you want more, but if I got to give, but if I got to go further, in the situations that I wanted to give more. And it's only been a few. Like, it hasn't been that many. You had to let them niggas know you ain't been playing, all right? I like that. No, nah, no. Nah, but in the situations that, I, that I've that give, i I've, I've wanted to give more, yo, and it's, it's not that many. That's the, like, I just sifted through my head. I was like, yeah, like two. You know what I mean? two. We didn't ask for the amount, Dame. I'm just saying. We didn't ask for the past either. Nah, but it'd be like. Answer the question, No, but it's like 147 on the other side. Oh, my God. In comparison to, like, two. Because he's been alive for... Uh, Dame, just answer the question. Uh, do I give that up? Nah, it's the... Uh, uh. All right, you want, yeah. you want Jay to go? Can, can yeah, I answer? Can yeah I answer? No, 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 I still gave it up. Okay. So so basically, if, and, and if you want more, but she doesn't, give it up. I gave it up. Cool. Jay. I'm not saying that's yes. advice. I'm just saying that's what if I did. She want, if she wants more, mm-hmm. but you're not ready for more right now, Yep. at any... 
on mm. stage in the union, yep. do you give it up? I want to say this so clearly, so emphatically, yeah. so 100%ly, if that's a word. Give nah. that shit up. And I mean that, right? I agree. What, what happens is <laughs> when you outside and you play, like when, when you're playing in these spaces, <laughs> you know what the fuck is going on, right? Yeah. You know who is for you, who is not for you. You know who you link with, who you connect with. You know right. who's your bag. You know all this shit. I know, just how they say, they, they say women know off the first meeting if she gonna right. fuck or not. Right. 10 seconds. Exactly. But guys, let's be honest here. We're the relationship gurus. Let's talk to the women. Yeah. We know for a fact if we're gonna cuff or not. We do know that. Ooh, I can't wait for it to be my turn. Cool. So, uh, what, what I would say is wholeheartedly in my life, I played a lot in my life. I know for a fact. Me too. With all my numbers, I know who I'm taking serious and who I'm not. So I can see that. I can be like, all right, it's now on me. To answer your question, am I going to, what's the question? Um, if you, if she wants more but you don't, yes. do you give up the situation or do you want to give up the situation? Mm -hmm. Or um, if, if I you want, more, want more but she doesn't, or do you also give up the situation? I'm going to 100% say in both situations give, give it the it fuck up. up that's what i said right. give it give it the fuck up because you y'all are not aligned right that's and it. It, it, it's not a seesaw and One, i got, what, I got what, an answer but i want to hear his answer first you, you know what you, I, it's, it's in rap a whole lot oh uh, um i'm sitting at the table but my side is leaning like that whole analogy of i'm bringing more to the table so my side is tipping that I'm matters I'm I'm gonna hold it, please. I that that gotta, fucking matters. It has to be an equal say, balance. I want, I have to want you, and you have to want me for this shit to work. And if it don't work that way, I'm gonna give it the fuck up, and I, I'm not gonna work towards it because now I'm working years. Michael B. Jordan, a year and a half. Now I, I we don't know what may have happened. He could have dropped down on bended knee and proposed to Shorty. We oh, don't yeah. know that. No, no, that's I think that's what they. I'm like, predicting. Like we don't know, he could he could have so, dropped down a bend and he proposed to Shorty. She was like, "Ah, I'm sorry, I'm 25. I'm still trying to get some more dick before I settle down. I can't, not yet. I can't settle to you. I, I, get to I don't know you. First. You feel that me? I'm, I'm trying to get to the rock. I gotta fuck your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get to the rock. <laughs> like, I gotta get to Dwayne Johnson before I, I fuck you I for real. Players, you feel me? Ronaldo real. out here, David Beckham. Right, There's so, so many up. billionaires that I want to fuck. I can't just say so, so I'm settling question. to you. So look, so look, so same look. question to you. So, do you remember your here's, question? Here's where I, here's where I differ, right? Whether or not I want more or she wants more, okay. I look at it. Remember, I said every stage of the union, right? Whether mm -hmm. it's dating, usually when I'm trying to get out a girl, she, you know, either they play hard to get or she's not interested at the moment, but I'm still trying. I'm, I'm working my one two. I'm proving that it's worth it to whether you give me pussy or you give me time. I'm proving it. Now, if when I'm talking to a girl, mm. I'm proving that I'm, you know, uh, I'm the boyfriend type. Or I'm a nigga that you know you take seriously. You make your number one. You make I'm this committed. When you make me my bo that, you make me your boyfriend. That changes it a little. When bit you make me. And the, and this do you remember? Why, do you remember why, your question? No, no, he's going. He's going. Let him go. Let him go. My he, question was just so I could restate it. My yeah. question was. If you're in a some type of union or situation, mm -hmm. whether it's dating, relationship, or pre-marriage, because it's a deep relationship, whatever you're in for. right? If you want more, but they don't want more, do you keep it? Or if they want more, or you or you don't want more, do you keep it mm -hmm. or do you throw it away? So what I'm saying is, just because I don't want more, or she doesn't want more in that moment, I'm not gonna throw it away. Here's the reason why. If I ask a girl out, that means I'm ready to mm -hmm. take you out. Mm -hmm. You might not be ready. Right? So, do I say, man, B word? Oh, do I say that? Well, you can say B word. B word! I like you anyway. You know what I'm saying? No, you. That's that just trauma. Not ready. That's that hurt people, you hurt people. You feel me? Hurt people. Hurt they're not ready. People, so, yeah. or, or we can go towards it's like, if I'm not, I'm 27 right now. I'm, I already told myself, no kids till 30. Right? I told myself that too. No, 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 no. But here's the thing. Here's, it didn't here's work. the difference. Here's the difference. <laughs> I got condoms in my sock. So did I. Okay. <laughs> yes. But you ain't I use didn't them. use them. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm, 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 
I'm here and there. Depends on who it is. I gotta. I'm having real talks. No, with but they the be in the speaker. sock though. They're I'm having <laughs> serious talks with the, with with the person or persons, whatever. Yeah. That I may be deep diving in. That, yeah. Hey, listen, gotta get back to these sock condoms, okay? <laughs> but listen, but listen. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, this I is want a sock, though. Here's, here's the reason why. I won't why, speak on it. Here's the reason he don't wear condoms. Here's At the all. reason why. I've worn all. condoms every day since I was a kid. Until you were 10. Only time what he wear it? a hat is when he go to Willow Wednesdays on his head. That's it. <laughs> that nigga never wear a hat. He's slim. So, understand. Because if you don't wear hats, you get bumps. But you. <laughs> Talk to me. That is funny because he got a motherfucker. <laughs> but you. Yo, go ahead. Go All ahead. Right. I hate y'all. So understand, for Once me personally, again. just because she doesn't... <laughs> Wear your hats, motherfucker. Just because she doesn't... Um, so understand, so boom. We could be in a relationship. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. ready to have kids. Uh-huh. But I'm not ready to have kids. Yeah. It don't make sense for me right now. If I t- we talk about having kids right now, I just started my, a business. I'm on the road. I'm trying to build something. You, but you're, you're, like, you're at home or you're... I, ovulating or wh- I don't know whatever it is you feel like your time is you, you're, you're a woman you're, you're yeah, trying to yeah, get yeah. this out right sure. now I'm not ready so do I say look this is a dub same thing it goes for getting into a relationship we're just talk. we're talking we're getting to know each other but you are ready to be in a committed relationship when you ask me or you propose it and I, or I say no now I, I would love to be I, I love you I care for you but I'm not ready to be in a relationship right now and it's not that I'm trying to play you. Me, I'm not ready. Would I be in a relationship with you? Number one person I would choose. If I say that, do you immediately say, well, you playing with me. I got to go. Nah, if you're not ready to take me seriously, I'm going to just move on. Nah, see, that in my opinion, that's you coming from a selfish point of view. Because if you feel like if someone's not on the same page as you, when you're ready, then that means they don't value you the way you value them. That's selfish leading, going towards marriage. If we're both in a relationship and we could be in a relationship for a couple years, your time and my time are two different time periods. You could be ready to get married after three months. I could check all the boxes and your emotional intelligence tells you that, yo, it's time. This is it. But for me, I already said, yo, I'm 27. I'm going to be vegan in three years, okay? After 30, only fish sometimes. I'm living until 90. My math says that's 60 years with whatever woman I decide to settle down with. That's, I'm doing adulthood for six more times. Mm, can, can I, I, I want to so interject. Just to finish off, I'll okay. do it. Just to finish okay. off. <laughs> okay. Because I'm, okay. no. no, no. Just to finish off. I, I respect it, though. <laughs> just to finish off, I'm saying I'm going to be with someone for a very long time. I don't mind taking my time to really fully understand. But just because you might be ready for marriage before me, if I say, yo, I'm not ready right now, things don't make sense for me right now to get right. married. Right, right, right. And you go ahead and say, well, if you're not, if you're not gonna make me an honest woman, or if you're not gonna marry me, then I you're hate, not, you're probably not taking me seriously. I hate that term, by the way. You're probably not gonna, but they're gonna throw a thousand percent. Stop lying. You're not a real <laughs> man if you don't know who you want. Da da. You feel me? And also to go back to your point, no, I did not know which girl I want to cuff when I bagged her. Mm. Any girl I've ever bagged, a fact. I never wanted you to be my girlfriend. Mm. When I met you, within the first week of meeting you, I never said, yo, I want you to be my girlfriend. Oh, uh, uh, mm. I never, I I, never I looked at you. Okay, I disagree with that. I never okay. looked at you and was like, yeah, I want to cuff her. I never looked at you and said I wanted to cuff you. It matured over time to where I said, you know what? I don't mind only dealing with you and making you girlfriend. I want to challenge that. Challenge. Yes, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> the reason why I, w- I, I want to challenge that. <laughs> Michael B. Yeah, Michael B. <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I didn't, when I said that, I didn't say to, I didn't mean it for, t- for it to be like, I met you, you're wife. I met you, you're not wife. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you can look at someone, the conversation, the initial conversation, the, the, the act of bagging would the, I make you wife? Would I? Not even I would, but would yes. I? Like I, you, you did. bro. No. Okay, so our lifestyles are different, right? So I could tell. Me and my life. I knew 
and maybe this is just me being a fucking grand wizard. Maybe I'm just a grand master at the show. I don't know. But I knew if I'm talking to you and I'm like, okay, this is only for sexual gratification. That's that. Like, I could comp- compartmentalize mm-hmm. who meant what to me. And I was talking, we're all different. So yeah, I'm, 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 I, learn, I, I, I'm I, learning and listening, big bro. No, but what, what I'm saying is, okay, so I'll, I'll retract my statement because I made a blanket statement like all niggas think like me. And obviously we don't. So I'm going to retract my statement because what you just said has some validity, right? Mm-hmm. You can... You don't know who's going to be who until you're with them multiple times. Mm. You build a little rapport. Now yeah. you're like, okay, I can see something. And, oh, no, I can't see nothing. But y- yeah. you had the time built in. I'm saying me, I, in my head, I kind of knew you can already. See who you could be outside with. Yes, me. Yeah. So, so with, From jump. Yeah, so with that, I could be like, I knew if I would ever... Okay, you know what? I knew exactly who, for a fact, you will never be wifey. Eggs, and that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I knew for a fact. That's what I'm speaking you to. You will never be wifey. But I she was still entertain it. I, I knew for a fact that there are certain shorties who I can only tell three of my bros about. Mm. And there are certain shorties... So, I will never tell my bros about. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining <laughs> yeah, the conversation. That's a real thing. Else, th- yeah. thank you for yeah. joining the conversation. So, that's so what I'm saying. If, like, if you flip it back, I, I agree with that. But now, but all I'm saying is the women who I have actually taken extremely seriously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I got with them, I never in a even after a couple of days or a week, I never was like, I'm gonna make you my girl, and then play my one two. Mm-hmm. I was like. Okay. Yeah, if this works, it works. Because I'm not. I'm, you give any, it a any, try. Anytime I'm, any, and here's some advice for for some young niggas going around. Never try to. Never look to. Never look for a relationship. Don't look to make no one your girlfriend. Don't look to. Don't. And this is from Lamar. Lamar I, only. I, don't look to make anyone your girlfriend. Don't look to. Hey, I'm on this journey. I'm I'm looking for a girlfriend right now. When you live your life and you you be yourself. Depending on your age, I'm going to say whether it's chase your dream, focus on what makes you better, focus on those things. When you do that, whoever is around you, they will gravitate to you, and whoever isn't supposed to be there, they will slim themselves off. So the jump-offs, the thoughts, the whatever, your wifey type will show herself effortlessly, and that's the person you end up taking seriously. But when real you go quick, outside real quick though, I, and you say, go ahead. I just... I don't want to say I disagree because I don't disagree with you. wasn't even here for the conversation. You know, no, no, but I, I walked in from. on yeah, just what you just said. You walked out or something else. Well, and that's what happens when you got to pee. So I came back. I pissed. So now I'm back. But I heard what you just said. We cool on that? All right. So, <laughs> but I do have a question because from what I heard as I came back from post-piss, um, have you had the situation where you walked into it with the same way that you feel, right? You just gave advice. Take this advice. I hear what I hear. This is my advice, right? I, I, I saw, this is my advice. Mm-hmm. This is how I feel. Have you had the situation where you walked in with that same advice? Don't walk in being like I want to go. Don't walk in and you like, oh, shit, but this is different. She's everything to me. Fuck. Yo. I, uh, and th- and she that's, but that's my be. question. So shit is shit like, you know how you call your niggas like yeah you know I've been playing with these but yo, this, this, one, <laughs> this yo shit got and so so that's so what I'm again, asking that's again, what I'm asking again, I'm asking. I just played a Jason, clearly. I just said a blanket statement that we might be a little confused. About. <laughs> I, do about, but, I do it all the time. I do it all the time. But that's what, what I'm asking. Is, I'm just asking. Just in general, have you? More women than men go into periods of their life where they're like, I'm looking for a mate. I'm looking for someone right now to take seriously and to be in a relationship. Yeah. Right? Sure. And what they end up doing is it's a really critical interview process with every man that comes in their life. And... What I realize, the older women get, if they're in that mindset, they hit you with the interview. What about you? 
you get in there, my boy. But I'm saying for me, I've never went into any situation and said, hey, I'm looking for a mate. I'm looking for a woman right now to be my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Any woman that became my girlfriend, it auto it gelled properly and automatically where we fell into that place and that happened. So I never I never I'm not I'm not saying any girl who you starting to like her, be like, nah, don't like her. I'm saying whether you are starting to, whether you, before you even start to like somebody, it's, you should not be saying, I'm looking for my girlfriend. I, I, I want, I want to bring I, him. Oh, man. I, I, I just, I, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, I, go I, 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 I more so, and I love what you just said. I, I more so want to bring it back on task so that we could attack it and then get the fuck off of this situation, right? Mm -hmm. If we're talking about the Michael B. Jordan, Lori Harvey situation, right. we're not talking about something that's fresh. We're talking about a year and a half of exclusively okay. dating, right? Mm -hmm. So I think, say, like, I think the marriage thing came up with that one. If I would, if I would look at it, so 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 what I'm saying is, so, so what I, no, it matters. So what I'm saying is, let's talk about the task at hand, right? It's we're, a, not, a, we're, we're, we're not saying, okay, you met somebody at yeah, Rum Punch, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. and right, we, can you right, see right, them bring it back possibly? Home. Bring it back home. Let's Rump talk. In no, Rum Punch is lit. But what I'm saying is, yo, you you met someone. I like Rum. You established something with someone. You are now entanglement. Well, you're entangled. Well, yeah, you feel yeah, yeah. me? You're entangled. <laughs> no, I did it on purpose. But no, you're, 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 bro, but you're now you're entangled in, you're, you're, with someone. You're now that's entangled now you with someone yeah, for a year, and they did break up before August. This they is did. crazy. Yeah. Nah, Shout out to right. August Alcina. But no, what I'm saying is like, let's 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 talk about that. Take the world, <laughs> bro. Is he the winner? Y'all are a year and a half in. You're not gonna tell me. Bro, you can't tell me that in a year and a half you're looking at a situation still with the same eyes that you did when you first met the but person. But you kind of know where your life was. You, you if you're there for that long, I feel like, I could be wrong, but I feel like you can see I'm with that, I'm not yeah. with that. Wait, it could possibly wait, be so that. Wait, no, but I shoot him some bail. He, he did say within the first two, three months. You could tell. He, no, but that's months. So, so, I'm talking so about a year and a half. No, 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 but, 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 no, no but, but real quick, just, uh, if I can just defend you. Yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. He wants to defend you. He wants Relax. to defend you. He wants <laughs> like, to defend you. I don't <laughs> ever defend this nigga. But he did say, he did say, he said in the first two, it's three months, you could tell. Um, he was like, uh, you fuck once, twice, in, by the 10th, 11th, 12th. Yeah, that's sex. Time of, that's sex. But, 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 but it won't make a year and a half but, but, is what I'm trying to that, say. But that is the point. Because if our sex ain't making it past five times, it's like, my nigga, how the fuck you going to so, make it but, a year but, and a half? But so, cool. So now let me just give you more details. They did not break up because of bad sex. And we I don't just, think so. I don't think would, so. Let's just throw that out there. Yeah, I don't okay? think so. I don't Fair think enough. so. All right? I'm believing that Michael was throwing He wanted to cuff down. and she didn't. In my opinion, I think that he was ready for more. And she wasn't. Michael was ready to take it to another level. He's 35. Okay? He was ready to take it to another level. She's 25. A 25-year-old man. And a 20, well. She's 25. Traditionally, 25 to 30. Not today, but not usually today. 25 to 30 for a woman. They're ready for that. Traditional. No, say, they're ready for kids. They're not 15, ready for marriage. Well, let's be honest. Well, hold on. Let's hold be on. honest. Oh, nah, 20, bro. They ready for kids. 10, they ain't ready on. for marriage. Let them go. 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 10 to 20 ago. 20 years ago. 10 to 20 Ooh. years ago. That's kids and marriage was a synonymous thing. Yeah, right? agreed. So Years ago, yeah. agreed. Yeah, no, kids, you got that. You got marriage. that. Yeah, That's yeah. why you see so many women getting proposed to with a belly. Right. You feel me? Literally. <laughs> like, they, they, that ain't because of them. That's because of their parents. Months pregnant, mm. right. proposal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it, it's synonymous. Now we're more accepting to the culture of. Like, you was just fucking. I'm willing to have six. <laughs> wait, we're more on the Nick. <laughs> Watch like, out. <laughs> like, Relax. We're cool with Nick Cannon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nick Cannon say yo. Nick he got Cannon bread say, yo. though. He, but regardless. Nah, know, he got bread, bro. Bro, bro I know a nigga at my job. He has eight kids with seven baby mamas. And he's broke. Can you see where he's in the dish pit? Nigga, he's broke. I hope he never sees this. No, he's <laughs> he's broke. No, no, but but but, but, but yeah, at the end of the day, we can we can move past the money. You, yeah, I, I agree here. So 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 here's the what I'm kids saying. thing is a real thing, yeah. bro. Yo, you know so, that. So so twenty five to thirty kids thing. Yeah. But 
it used to be kids and marriage. So Facts. It used to be. Yeah, yeah, it used to be. They're ready to for the next stage of life for yes. them. Right? Shit right. done changed. So it has done changed. Like 30, yes. 30, by 35, a man is ready for the next stage. Yeah. Completely. 25 to 30, a woman is ready for that next stage. Yeah. So this is the time for them. But I feel like he was ready for marriage. She probably wasn't. But I don't think that if one person is ready for marriage, that is you throw the relationship away. For example, how many times have we seen... Hold on, no, keep going. Someone proposed, <laughs> and the other person say no. Why is that the end of the relationship? I, I I can tell you why. To be honest, yeah, that's a good question. No, I, I, but I can, you did say this. We we I, actually had we've had this conversation. You said, but, ask, but I, I, that was the question. I, I, I will you, tell you are why. you done dating this person? Was I, the question. I, I, I will tell you why. Yeah. He was like, "Fuck it." <laughs> We're obviously. This is more than okay. I, I I see a relationship as a business partner, right? We can't do business if our business values don't align, and that's how I see it. We're in a business together, right? Before you, I need I need you to describe what is pre business, because a relationship Wait, is pre marriage. Okay, so so, so I, I, so we're I, in pre business. What is that? I, I will say this. I never spoke on pre-business, so I can't... Just, you, can't just, so l- let me sit with that first, and I'll give you some you explanation. Like, okay, you're using a, an analogy I where there's you. only I got one you. stage, and we're talking about an analogy yeah, 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 but, 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 but Well, no, but no, it, it, no it, it's, one, it's one stage because it's either married or not. So it's only one stage. It's marriage or not. It's married or not. I hate that. No, married or no, single, no, like wait, when you do wait, your taxes. Wait, 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 wait. The, 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 the re- it don't no, say pre-married no, no, no. on your taxes. The, the re- it don't the, say the, the pre-married the on your taxes. Why I hate, the reason why I hate that is the reason why I hate when people say um, pre-cancer. Or oh, pre-diabetic. Pre, pre-diabetic. Because we're all fucking we all, pre-diabetic pre-cancer, technically. pre-cancer, nigga. Fuck you mean? It's, it's stupid. It's I'm dumb. But let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me, I hear you. I hear you, but let me finish. I got you, I got let you me on let me what finish. you're saying, though. I do understand. What I'm saying is, for our business to align and for our mindset to be on the same wavelength, we have to have the same train of thought. So I can't feel like... We're about to monopolize and turn into Walmart, and you like, no, we're about to be a non for profit. That's two fucking ends of the spectrum that we need to be on if we want to be a good business, if we're partners. What I'm saying is that goes the same thing in relationships, right? Um, if I'm with an individual, right? If I'm with an individual and I feel and the signs are showing, and we're talking about being a Walmart, which is a mega conglomerate, sure. a mega multi-trillionaire business. Cool. That's where we're aiming towards. We're not going to be there on that trajectory, and then you hit me with the, oh, nah, I want this. It's like, whoa. Nothing that we've discussed, nothing that we've spoken about, nothing that we have showed in the last year and a half describes what you're talking about now, right? Cool. I understand that you may propose Shorty might not be there. I get that part. But there has to be something in the conversation that got that man or got that woman to be there. He's just not there or she's just not there for no reason. I feel. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't know everybody on earth. I would say. I'm about more, to hit you with some hot fire. Cool. More times than not to me. More times than not, to yeah. me, I feel like a proposal happens. Got you. Okay, well, no, 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 we're not gonna do that. 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 More times than not, to me, I feel like a proposal a proposal happens because both parties are on some kind of wavelength. Now there are the 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 the, the outliers where somebody just said something, or marry me, out of nowhere. It's like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, we're not there yet. But I feel like. More times than not, you have to be yeah. careful with your words. More times than not, a proposal happens because both parties are somewhat on the same train of thought. Agreeing a little. A little bit, a little. somewhere. Something. I can see me with you. I can see you with me. We both like, like Taco Bell. Like, like, I, I, I feel shit. like there's something that is there. <laughs> it's like, you know what? I can see something there, right? Okay. So now if you're telling me that they're not together because of that, He's 35, she's 25, she in her hoe bag, he trying to cuff, and it's two different things. They never saw eye to eye. 
That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, if we talk about big decisions in life, house, car, children, marriage, right? All big decisions. We're together in a relationship. Let's get a house. Mm-hmm. I'm not ready to get a house right now. I want to get a certain amount of money up. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll get a house. Mm-hmm. You might say, no, we, I'm going to get a house right now. Like, well, you, we didn't figure out what we got right now. Let's get a house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some people don't get married because the woman might not like the ring that she's bringing. Right now, my budget is saying, the ring you're about to get is from K's and it's $1,000. But that's the women we don't fuck with. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. Because, hold on, the reason why I say not necessarily, because um, there was a... Um, no, I'm cheap, nigga. There was, a, there was a story about a guy buying a girl a ring for $400. Mm-hmm. When they told their story, uh, they went on Anthony O'Neill. He's like a financial yeah, yeah. buyer. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, $400. When they told this story, smart man, they said that... One more. Wow. They said that at first... I missed it. She, um, go ahead, go ahead. at first she told him, well, you know, he said, yo, this is my budget. This is all I can do right now. I do know that I'm ready to marry you. I do know that, mm. you know, this is where I want to go. But she was like, well, if you're ready to marry me, but clearly you, your intention is right, but you're not ready because you're bringing me a ring that's not ready. I agree right. with that right? statement. So, but, but here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like what then it's like, okay, boom, what are the prerequisites to for both of us to be ready? Okay? Mm. For her, she's saying if you're gonna come to me, come to me correct. I and come agree to me with correct that. looks like a ring that's between ten, five and ten, or whatever, three right. thousand or whatever. It has three to, to look, ten have, has has yeah. to be a good looking ring. Word. You have a, a vision of our future, you're ready to buy a house, you're ready to you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You could be like you could have no money and be like, yo, look. I'm. I would marry you right now. We could be broken shit, and I'll marry you right now because mm-hmm. right. I know my heart is ready for this union. Right. But then we get out of the the lovey dovey and be like, well, is my are my pockets ready? Are the other factors in my life also ready for this union? Because as my man said, it's a business, yes. right? Understand. In any situation where there's another step to be made, even if we're in a business and we're looking to make a merger with another company and we're both business partners, we have to be, both of us have to be on the same playing field. That doesn't mean that both of us are ready. It's just we're open to the idea. We're open to the idea of taking that next step. So if I'm in a relationship with you, that means I'm open to the idea of taking that next step. But if you're ready for the, okay, that's cool. If you're ready for marriage, but I'm not ready for marriage and I'm not ready for that right now, that doesn't mean that I will never be married to you. If I don't have my funds together, but we're in a relationship, but you want a marriage, you want a destination wedding, and you want all this type of shit, bro, you want to know what the, you want to know what I found out over while I was gone in Africa. In Africa, they do something called bride prize. Okay, you know what a bride prize is? Bride prize is where the the groom, the man, brings the whole family different gifts, whether it's money, whether it's property, whether it's whatever it is. It's a, it's a dowry. It's there. There. That's how you, instead of like in America where you sit the, the, the father down and say, Hey, I would like to marry your daughter. That's cool. Mm-hmm. They bring, they, yeah. they bring, bring goats, goats. all type of, we've goats. seen it. Yeah, yeah. We know a person. I we know, went we, to we, one. We've literally, literally seen this. Yeah, yeah, wow. I'm talking shit. about like the, but the American version. They're not, they're bringing money. We don't have No, no, that. like, look. And, no, and, yes, we, I, went, I went to a bride price the other day. No, but bro, in, in Africa, they bring like. Nah, it's different. It's crazy. Yes, they they bring some shit. Two elephants. Here's the thing. Goats. Here's the thing. Facts. They here's bring the some shit. Where the fuck you going to get an elephant? Listen. Africa. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying <laughs> Only in Africa, nigga. Go, 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 go. Don't lose it. 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 What I'm saying is, bride prize. They told me that people have to give like 20, 30 racks. Bands, nigga. Bands. What if I'm not ready? I don't. I don't. I can't do that right now. Then you're not ready for a bride. But I'm not. But I know that you're the person I want. Do. But if you're ready to be married. And I'm okay with being married, but not right now because I'm not ready. Are we no longer in a relationship 
because we're both not ready. You know what that means? Can I, can I just answer, please? You're emotionally ready. You're not financially I ready. I didn't know. It's but okay I, to be I ready for one know. and not ready for the other. I you're ready. But that's what I'm saying. But I just, no, 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 y'all, no, fam. No, you can, can I, be emotionally ready. But if you're not financially ready, then my brother, guess what? I you cannot be married, my nigga. Okay, I hear you. I just you saying. Just, all right, you said you disagree. I just want to. <laughs> I didn't say that at all. I, I just said I wanted to speak. Let, 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 okay, let him get his shit off. Let him get his shit off. Hold on. Let him get his shit off. No, wait. wait. Oh, he said, "Fuck your point." No, that's not what I'm saying. What okay, I'm saying that's is, what I said. What you what you said is, if you're not, you could be emotionally ready, but not financially ready. So you're not ready, right? So you're not ready. Yes. Okay. In my opinion, that is okay. Okay, right? all right. That's okay if you're not a level of ready. All right. But what you guys said, if you're not ready in total, right, then one person, then then that shouldn't even happen anymore. What I'm saying is, for example, a relationship. I'm not ready for a relationship, but you are. And we're both ready. We have a relationship. Instead of okay. Run away. I, so I, I now. I'm not ready for okay, marriage, I get, but I get you it. Are, I get it. 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 Why I, would you throw the I whole now situation understand. away? I now, because I, I'm not ready. I now understand, right? What, what what we're talking about is the perf the person who poses that they're ready. That's now what we're talking about. So that's literally what we're talking about, right? What do you mean? So you, as a man, if you say you're ready and Shodi is not ready, are you staying? Ready for marriage? Yes. If you say you're ready, you're with this woman for a year and a half. You say you're ready, and she says I'm not ready. What are you gonna say? I'm, I'm personally, I, I would stay. If I if I see this woman as my wife, it's like, baby, listen. Whenever you're ready, then I'm I'm, I'm already ready. I'm already here. Okay, I'm, so I'm not. Uh, and then and then now, if my patience starts to get frustrated. I feel like it's another two, three years. But you see where the caveat man comes out? It always, because there's no clear cut for nothing. I, I get it, but, but you're, if, you're, but you're now landing where I'm at. We're at the same place. I'm going to say, well, baby, what are, what do, you, do you even know what you need to be married? Yeah, man. So do you need time for that? I'm, I'm going to be real, yeah. You can't like, say that the very moment you asked? So, just, so this conversation, this conversation legitimately had me in my feelings for yeah, a moment. Let me speak. I'm, let, let me speak. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad, Dane. No, it's all, right. it's all right. It's just um, stop thinking about her. She's not here. As I was, as I was listening, um, it got me in my feeling multiple times because I am a person who, who moved his life a couple times. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, I moved from Chicago to New York. I moved from now New York to Atlanta, and the one conversation that I've had has nothing to. Do, the one conversation I've had with the women I've loved has nothing to do with money or being ready or being goat man or having all the goats or the money or the three million or nothing. Well, you know what, what the, you know the craziest question I, I always get? They say, yo, if you, do you realize if you would have asked me to go with you, I would have came with you? Mm-hmm. Dog, it fucks up my life. Multiple women have told me, I heard that you struggled in New York. And I'm like, nigga, New York was the hardest shit I ever had to deal with. They was like, but yo, you know I would have been like, it would have just been us, together, making this work. Well, that, if, wait, 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 wait no, real quick, real quick. Hold on, no, no, no. But <laughs> no, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not, I'm not gonna. Stop, go, stop, 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 you're right. I'm sorry. But it's not because I'm an asshole. It's because I'm moving on what we're talking about. Which is, I got to get it for me, right? Like we just said, what, what would you choose the the, the person, that, or would you choose you and choose what you're trying to, you know? In, in my head. Not exactly. And, and Not exactly at all, but damn you. Okay, okay, okay. But this is what happens when the conversation moves forward. Nope. If I would have answered to what you were saying, I had points to make it make sense. Uh, but now it's, it's fucking it's, it's 10 minutes later, nigga. So no, no, now, no, 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 Dame's an asshole. Got you. But it's like, not really. I was at, trying to answer the old question to hold on to that shit. Got you. Do you okay. even remember the question? Yeah. If What's you're question? Ready, if, if you're in a relationship mm-hmm. or any level of a union, whether mm-hmm. it's relationship, dating, or pre-marriage, and you are ready... <laughs> Pre marriage is deep dating. I hate you. I hate deep you. Deep ass I, I hate too. that. Uh, Keep going. And you're ready for a relationship. Uh huh. Or you're ready for the next level, but the person uh-huh. you're with is not. Uh huh. Um, do you leave? Or, yeah. or, you know, vice versa. Got you. So, what I chose was to leave because I thought that leaving was more important. What were you ready for with that relationship? Did you want to If I would have stayed. I would have probably settled 
down. Settled? Down. Uh, Set, whoa, God, you was ready to cut the word off. Nigga. I said settle down. <laughs> like, I didn't even but get that. let him answer it, bro. You, you, <laughs> you ask him a question. No, no, stop it. It was a comma. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> You over talking that him. nigga put a pen. I in. put a hey, comma. Bro, said, can the man speak? When you watch this, can the man speak? What I'm what I'm saying can is, can the man speak? Oh, it's seven. For the first time, and and I'm only telling you this because this, I, as a person who always chose his life over everybody else's life. Okay. Always, I've always chose my plight, what I'm thinking, what I'm on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To the point where my friends get mad at me. This nigga is cussing yeah. me out, literally, because, like, damn, on we're here, Willow, too, nigga. On the Willow Wednesdays, publicly. And I'm like, I well, I, I can't trust niggas, because at the end of the day, niggas could be like, fuck you. So I'm like, I right, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I always got to be able to protect and, me. And, and, and one, once again, j- j- just to bring everything full circle, what happens is if you're not dealing with individuals who's on the same wavelength as you, yeah. you, sh- you should let them go. And ju- nope. what, what you're saying is, right, oh, you, you never wanted to reach out, you never wanted to be with the, uh, uh, whatever the case may be. I'm saying is you have a, a group of guys, a group of friends mm-hmm. who are willing to do whatever it takes for you to succeed because we're on the same wavelength, right? So if there's a point in time where you drop down on bending knee and you're like, oh, I need this, this, the, 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 whatever the case may be, and we all like, ah, fuck you, nigga, no, no, no. that's a problem. If that happens. If, so go ahead, go ahead. because that's a problem. But what happened was, so just I would, no, multiply no, no. that to relationships. You're, you're, no, no, you're it's not a wrong. Problem. But ahead, what happens is, what happens is, and that's what I'm saying, when it comes to relationships, friendships, everything, I'm always prepared for people to shit on me, right? I'm always prepared for people to not give a fuck. Damn, this is a deep dive. Yeah. I'm always prepared this for the job to fire me, the nigga to talk shit, the bitch to, I can't. Oh, damn it, right? that's a shot. Yeah. Relax. Only Relax. One hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can take you, my own shot. Everyone has to hear. I mean, no, 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 take your shot. I take your shot. Yeah, yeah, take your shot. You, everyone has to hear. All right. So no, but at the end of the day, I'm so prepared for shit to go. Take your bad. shot at the end of the day. I'm always prepared for shit to go bad. I don't even know how to take a shot because I'm drinking the same shit. That's the shot. So, so hey, okay, waterfall. I can't drink it. No, that's not waterfall. God, Dri- that's drive bad. the boat. Yeah, you pause. Bad. In 2022, 2023, we know, yeah, fact. <laughs> we know, you got hoochie daddy shorts, you driving the boat, relax. But at the end of the day, um, I'm always prepared for shit to go bad. And and now I'm so prepared for it, like, it makes me the weirdo in the relationship. Thousand percent. Yeah. So it's not that I can't get the women. It's just that when I get the women, I'm always like, yeah. I'm, I'm about to heal you, my brother. Yeah, this going to be, this going to be weird. I got you. You ready? Let yeah, you, let, it's going to be weird. Because you know what's going to happen? You're not going to care. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to care. You're not going to care for real. My brother, I got you. I got <laughs> you. Are you ready? So, a couple Don't things. Don't tell me. Number one, you have experienced, whether it, whether personally, firsthand or secondhand, so much hurt, and you've been let down so much that one upset. Um, optimism is no longer an option. Right? So, let me... Let me, let me, I'm going to let, let you me, rock. That's not further. true, but I got you. Let me go first. Because it's the only thing go. that keeps me going, bro. Let, God damn. Let him go. Let from, him go. But go ahead. Go ahead. I'm told us. <laughs> but that just was negative. So, so, we didn't get to so the other part because niggas want to talk. So optimism is not really an option, right? Well, it's, you know, it's more pessimism than anything. Here's, here's what I'm saying. You don't want to hear what I learned from that because who okay, cares? But go ahead. Okay. All right. Um, you never sat down and saw a future... With the other person, so if I don't, if I, if I don't yeah, see a future no, with you, if I don't agreed. like, if I can't put you in my future, of course I'm like look out for myself first. Yeah, me getting my bag right will always help me in every situation. Me getting my healing mental right will always yeah, help yeah. me in every situation. One hundred So those are my focus. If you're with me, as a woman, it's gonna help us. But if I'm by myself, it's gonna help me regardless. So that's the focus. But if I'm looking at you like you're very significant but I also want to make this decision that's going to probably help me in my music career or my acting career I'm going to think about how can I fit you into this I'm going to propose it to you and if you don't can't see how you can probably fit into it as well for our future that's where we separate but if you never had the conversation with them then you actually didn't really see them so here's what future. I'm learning now you're not wrong 
I don't disagree with you. But this is what I'm learning now. Ooh, the alcohol hit him. No, no. But this no, 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 no. But this is what I'm learning at this age. Is now, I meet women who. Because I'm older, right? Everybody ain't Lori Harvey. She 25. That's how all chicks yep. at 25 feel. You know what I mean? And fucking old and You know what I'm saying? Now I'm older, right? I meet chicks 35, 36, 37. Their we, mindset, we, because they went through the Lori Harvey they stage. They fucked everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're like, oh, I see your vision. I understand. I'm a motherfucking asset. Mm-hmm. I'm an asset. So everything that you're telling to me, I can help. Not only can I help, I can be there for you. I can help you build. But I'm so used to having that attitude of, fuck what you're talking about. I'm trying to do this, and, and you're not the one that I see. So you're clearly jaded. you're not the one. You're jaded. But, I, but, I, but now, I, I, yo, and it's wild because I never thought this would ever happen in life because I, I remember 19 and 20 and, you know, I moved to New York, and they was clowning me about my shoes and clowning me about my clothes. And I was like, wow, why is this important, ma'am? Fast forward. Where are you, ma'am? Where are you? You look. I'm not going to judge nobody. You understand what I'm saying? You, you meet these women later, and you're like, wow, you was the one judging me. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Then you find out, oh, shit. She's a fan of what you do. She's been following what you've been doing the whole time. These are the women who you were dating that you did that you. These are the women from? who were. Oh, uh, you changed it. No, no, that's where you. Were no, no, you know I'm not saying you changed. Actually, bringing it back. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. It started with dating, but then it started just just a normal life. It was just like, man, I I started to uh, New York because I'm not from New York. Hmm. So as remember, as I w- you're, remember, you're talking about women. Just to bring you back. Bring me back, bring please, because y'all don't want to just ramble. We're talking about women who you were with and they said hey listen if you would have told me that this is what you wanted to do i probably would have got been you. With you my bad my bad i can ramble it's true niggas know y'all have seen the show um i no, want to no. progress the conversation can i answer before yes, you progress absolutely i just want to say yes when i went back and talked to those women it was wild to me because i didn't know that that's how they felt i was moving on right doing what i did building what i'm building because, like you say, I got to get my money together before I'm ready to even. I can't step to you until I got my. I can't walk into this situation without knowing that my shit. But they was like, none of that mattered. That's why I agreed with you when you said that earlier. Did you see a future with those women at that time? Did you actually sit down and paint out a future? You want to know what's crazy? I was so jaded with what I felt that it didn't matter what they felt. And that's the thing that I'm learning now. And that's what they're telling me. They was like, if you would have just took the your you know your blinders off, my nigga, you would have seen it. It would have been us the whole time. So you didn't see a future with them, is what you're saying? No, you're missing what I'm saying. No, I, mean, I just want a yes or no on that one. Did you see a future? Did you ever sit down and see a future with those women that you're thinking? But, but that's a police that, question. No, 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 no. That, that's a that's that's a tough yes or no when he just admitted to saying I wasn't even looking. I mean, I. Mm. I wasn't even there mentally to even see yes or That's no. That's what I'm saying. That's that police I, question. Th- th- Did you th- steal th- it th- or th- not? you like, yeah, but my kids was hungry. It's, it's like there's reason. Technically, technically, to answer the, the question, home, to no. answer your question, no. Yeah. I just wanted to, like, put a pin on Cool, the, yes. You know but, my t- nigga, t- but if you're always jaded by the things that you see, and, and you will matters. never see it. And that matters. It don't matter what matters. woman is in front of you. You're basically, what I'm saying is that like, matters. That's, that matters, fam. You got to open your, you know. relationship gurus at the same time. So I just want to give people, so you're giving them the reason. Yeah. I just want to say, hey, look, no, I didn't see a future. Good point, future. Lamar. Good no, point. I didn't see a future because Good I was point. so jaded from what I had before. Right. Good point. So if I would have just took the time to say, yo, I really want to see a future, how Good do I point. get over this? I have to get over my jadedness. Good so point. I just want to give a reason to whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, fair enough. Good point. Good fair point. Enough. Fair enough. Good fair enough. Point. And, and, you know, Good and point. then you get older, and then you start having these conversations with those people, man. And, and I swear, I've had a, these conversations. I, I, I want to move this conversation. You said you wanted to move it forward. Yeah, I don't know if my girls would have moved with me to, to Atlanta at 20. I think they would have. At 20? Nah, they would have. That's well, tough. Uh, That's a tough age. Nah, I'm so serious. But, but 20, 20 is, an age, 20 is, a tough is age, not the though. age to do that. Five said yes, they would have. Well, I mean, I and, and y'all would have been broken up by 22. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, hey, bro. 
Lori Harvey, Harvey baby. baby. <laughs> no, no, but what, what Yo, I, but that was a good deep dive. I feel like we, no, we yeah, kind of opened we, up. We did, that, we did that. We did that. We did that. You say we, you want to move it forward. Spoke, yeah, I want to I wanna move it forward. We got Um, I want to move it forward, but I want to keep it in at New York. Um, there's a lot of shit that's happening financially within this country. Um, we feel it on our pockets. Um, how you feel it? You live in Atlanta. Talking shit. Talking shit. I said this country, <laughs> we feel it on our pockets. <laughs> right. We All feel right. it at the gas pump. I drove here. We, yeah, we, bro, we, we, <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the trucking bro, industry. <laughs> we, we feel it at Yo, the I, fucking grocery diesel store. Is 50. We I'm just going to ask you how much do it cost? Di- Yo, cost. diesel is crazy right now. My you do you just truck to diesel? the fucking roof. Bro, yeah, t- my. Two fifty to fill up, average wherever we go. Bro, my my gas and his like 450 miles. my gas and his diesel damn near the same price, and that's a fucking problem. <laughs> no, that's what I'm trying hey, to say. Hey, it's a problem. Hey, hey, some places diesel's like four seventy, but um, but Bro. but eighty seven is like four thirty. Like that means ninety three is way higher than diesel. And that's what I'm trying to say, like, bro. I drive 93. My car takes 93. It's a it's, way bro, harder than it's diesel. It's a problem right now, right? But but we we're, we're all coming from New York, all three of us, right? Um you, you you're coming by way of Chicago, but you're you're a New Yorker. You've been there long enough. Um I have to claim it is true. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't want to, but 10 years Manhattan they got landlords got. are reportedly Yo, rejecting I saw that. Rejecting of um, applications for tenants who don't make a hundred and sixty thousand dollars or more. You make hundred sixty? What? Take no, I'm asking you for his, his I mean, household I'm, probably does. I'm, do you make one the kids? Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say my financials on Willow Wednesdays. That's just me. <laughs> Why we can't say our financials? I mean, you can if you want to. Would you make one sixty? I've never made 160. <laughs> cool. There you okay. go. In a year, will I will I make 160 next year? Thousand percent. I mean, cool. And, cool. And, but that's why you're an entrepreneur. But me personally, I'm not gonna disclose that information, and and I have the right to do that. But the um. Hell yeah! I make three billion. What? Cool. So then you, you the, made you made 160 so then, in 2020, though. So, <laughs> so this statement is not for you. But what what yeah. what's happening? I'm too rich. I don't care about gas. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> They're asking people <laughs> to have an uh, annual income that is 40 times the amount of their rent. Yeah, that's, that's wild, though. That's wild. Conceptual, that's wild as hell. 40 times the amount of their rent. 40 times! Yeah, and mind right. you, I said rent because that word means something. They don't own you shit. They don't own a goddamn thing. So I got to make damn near $200,000 in New York. To afford a one-bedroom apartment. So you make 200000 I don't live in New York, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know so, um, so I don't, I don't even think that's going to last. <laughs> and it's funny because it. when I read this, I thought the same thing. It's not yeah. going to last. Yeah, that's and, th- and then I got to thinking about my situation when I was in New York and then situations around me of people that I know. Situation. They're asking so much a lot. for someone to rent a property. Too much. And it's overachieving because we... Okay, we spoke about this off camera, but let's talk about it on camera. Um, the, 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 the federal minimum wage mm. is $7.50. Mm. Niggas make $7.50 an hour. But in New York, you got to make over one hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year Duh, to have a one bedroom the apartment. Minimum in New York is like what fifteen? That's way more money. Uh, I mean, they make more minimum wage in New York, but, but it's still not a hundred and eighty yeah. million. I mean, even if you make even grand, the minimum bro. wage is fourteen dollars. So, me ask you a question. Me ask you a question. That ain't going. That ain't going to afford that. So, number one, let's break it down. Number one, that is not all I have Manhattan. Manhattan is from uh, Hell's Kitchen, Lower East Side, all the way past Harlem. Okay, bro. If you if you're you got not, that if you got that two one island, bro. if you got that two one two area code, you're gonna pay for that. Okay, here's the my whole thing. island. Here's my thing. There are projects in Harlem. 
Yeah. Harlem is not requiring people to make one hundred sixty thousand dollars to get an apartment. Now that it's gentrified, I don't know, bro. Understood. But what also happens is that Section Eight, and what Section Eight is doing now, you have to be legacied in. You have to have your grandmother, your mother, you. So you can't follow hard times? <laughs> me nah, and, fuck hard times. Your rent due. I, I like that question. Me and you can't fall on hard times. I can't go broke? No. no. Damn. That's what I'm trying to say. Bro, if, like we I, were, if, we, if, we, if we lived in Harlem right now and we just fell on hard times, you cannot apply for Section 8 and get it. You're not going to get it. It's not I, for you. I used to date this girl in Harlem when I first moved to New York. Um, before, before I moved into, yeah. you know, before I met you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first place I ever met was Harlem. That's what I knew. That's who I met. Whatever. Who cares? Her grandma, um, she lived in Harlem. She had a, a brownstone. Um, and she lived in a brownstone. She bought it like in the 70s. Right? So she was in the brownstones through the, the heroin era. Then she went through the crack era. She then, saw it all. Yeah. Then she went through the gentrification. But uh, what y'all call the shit? Where the rent don't... Um, um, rent control. Rent control. Yeah. It was a rent control building. Mm-hmm. So she had only been paying 500 a month. Oh, that's beautiful. My nigga, since 1982. Oh, she, she, that's beautiful. Yeah. right. So what happened was, she and, and I, I met her, and we was having a conversation. I ain't know nothing about rent control. I'm new to New York. I ain't know nothing about this. Sitting there with her grandma, and she was like, they trying to get me to move out my goddamn apartment and my, my shit. I own this. I've been here. I bought this. And it fucked me up because she was like, well, I only paid 500 my whole life. I bought it. I own it at this point, 30 years later. Yeah. They wanted to move her out so that they can move. And make the rent $3,000. They want to make the most buck that they can. I was just bugging to hear that conversation because I'm like, how about this? how'd you go through crack? And she was like, fuck it. This is my house. I ain't moving yeah. to <laughs> fuck they crack. They own their shit. So but I'm, I'm, I'm going to read this. And, and this should just... Damn. Encompass everything that we're talking about, right? She don't make a hundred thousand uh, so a year. New York City's housing market has always been competitive. Um, renters now are facing a particularly tough flat hunt just for apartments. The median monthly rent for a one bedroom in the city is three thousand nine hundred and ninety-five dollars as of April. Mm, this year. 2022, as of April, in the city, $3,995. They're saying that's a 38% increase year to year. So shit is going up. Yeah. Right? This is not foreign to us. Shit is going to go up. We got COVID. We got people don't want to work no more. We got a chip shortage. We got whatever obstacle they want to throw in the retail space. That's what we're dealing with, right? They're saying that the rule in New York, if we're talking about New York, it's always been 40%. I mean, sorry, 40 times the rent. So for me, if I own the building, I need all of my renters to be able to pay the rent times 40. Because that's how I know if you got it or not. Do you understand how much that means? That means that if you think about paying your rent 40 times. If your if you're rent. There's 12 months a year. If your rent is $1,000 a month. But do you. You have to. Let's just, let's just do basic math. $1,000 a month. 40 times 1,000 is 40,000. Right? I need so, that. You have to at least make $40,000 to meet this $1,000 a month. Question. Yes. You have to make $1,000. You have to make 40000 a month or 40000 for the year? 40 for the year. And, 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 it's not. It's but, not. It's but not. that's it's not. that apartment. It's not. So let's just keep it there, right? But they said so living wait, in Manhattan. 40 you know a year. That's at $1,000. 40 times the rent. That's not bad at all. That's just your rent. Yeah. You got a car, you got kids, <laughs> you, you got any other bills, you, you got anything else that can affect this. I'm moving and to Utah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Playing the 21. But Love it. you Let's see it. why niggas left New York. I'm trying to say, like, you, see why, why, you see why there's a mass exodus. Yo, every time I of, shoot, 
Even if I miss, I wanted it to be five points. Stupid. Know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up, Utah. We should never made you take that shot. No, we, we, yeah, in fact. <laughs> but no. I really that was a game. That's so what they're saying is um, potentially to rent a one-bedroom apartment in the city of New York, which is Manhattan, you would have to make one hundred and fifty-nine thousand dollars a year. Mm. That's one sixty. You got to make one sixty a year to rent an apartment. Mind you. So I, do you bank 160 a year? We're not going to go there. I'm I just sorry. keep asking. So in, just to be a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keep asking. In Atlanta, I know 160. They, in Atlanta, I know that they ask you to make um, three three times. Like, so I thought when they said three times the rent, I'm thinking like, okay, if the rent is $2,000, I'm going yeah. to show that I have a cash flow of, of profit Two, of at least 6000 6000 Yeah, yeah, 6000 Yeah. 6000 a month. Yeah. Um, But if you're talking about. 40 times or 40 or three times for the year. That means that the rent for that, I'm, that, that logic is confusing me. I thought they meant you gotta make 40 times for the month. I was like, Oh, well, no, that, that'd be $4 million a month. Yeah. That's why it threw me off. It's still wild numbers, but that's why it threw me off. So even if it, yeah, even if Atlanta had um, said that, let's say rent was 2000 and you had to make 40, Times two thousand, that means eighty thousand. Now, technically, when I look at when I look at okay, forty times two thousand is eighty thousand, right? Okay. Eighty thousand a year. If you're living in a spot that's worth two thousand dollars, well, not this year, but three four years ago. Okay. Right. You live in a spot that makes about um two thousand, and all the other bills. Let's break that down. Um, bro, the, the average American does not make eighty thousand dollars for the year, bro. No, I know. What's uh? What's twelve? What's twelve divided by eighty? Twelve divided by eighty. Let me do the math on that. But literally, literally the average American does not make eighty bands a year. What's that? Six thousand? Uh, uh, eighty divided by twelve. Six point six 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 seven. Seven. I love calculating like seven. Seven. Throw that seven. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Just to fuck you up. So. So. The average American does not make six bands a year. I was six bands a month. No, they're not. Six point six bands a month. We done been on the bus. We done been on the train. These niggas ain't making that. Hold on, bro. So six point six bands a month. Your rent is two thousand. Yeah. So you're making around. One thousand, um, one thousand five hundred, and one thousand six hundred and fifty a week. If you're if you're making six thousand sixteen fifty, yeah, you're making sixteen fifty every single week. Now you divide it by four, it should yeah. be sixteen fifty, right? You make one point six 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 seven seven. Seven. That seven is real. That seven is real. Sixteen fifty a week, right? That's still a little steep. Yeah. But, like, hopefully you should be able to, like, that's still a little steep. I'm, all I'm saying is, when I, say, when I look at 40 times, it's not that wicked to me. You're, you're, because you're, you're saying that before, in your privilege. You're saying that in your privilege right on, now. Hold on, I'm not privileged. I am no, privileged. You are. No, no, it is um, a privilege. So it is because you're not making seven, $7 an hour. Said, here's what I said. Remember, Atlanta says you have to make three times the rent. Yeah to get this apartment. Yep. So if the apartment is $2,000 in Atlanta, you have to show that you make at least $6,000 a month. You know what I'm saying? But so what, what, showing- what they don't take into consideration is that niggas is making $7.50 an no, no, hour. No, 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 no. I'm, all, all I'm saying is I just don't want it to... Certain numbers make you look at things way different. I'm going to forever look at them different. I'm just, no all, matter what the numbers are. All I'm saying is... Three times the rent is not a super duper un. Like, as I said, we do it here in Atlanta. No, it is. It is a un whatever you wanted to say. You didn't even finish saying it, but it is. What happens is, niggas' is jobs, <laughs> the jobs that people go for, they're given a certain wage, right? So the gov, so the government is not making enough money to. But they're not, not making it three they're, they're, times your rent. They're, they're not making it because the government is, the government is telling them that the, the government is telling them that they're not gonna make it, right? So I'm gonna dictate what you make, 
and then I'm going to dictate what you need to pay to live. I wouldn't even talk. That is crazy. Hey, to make your point more valid, bro, I wouldn't even talk about the 750 or 15. I'll talk about the school system and what certain most jobs are paying when people come out of college and even after five nah, years. Nah, but I right, so, so but fifty thousand to sixty thousand, bro. No, no, but 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 that's what I'm saying. Just take it on a low level. But, a, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah, y'all, y'all call yeah, me yeah. real quick. Y'all, y'all call me old, and I love it. But it is yeah. true. Back yeah, in the I'm day in Chicago, you could get a two bedroom apartment for seven hundred dollars a month. Do you imagine? Can you imagine? And I'll let it rock. Seven hundred dollars a month is a two bedroom apartment. It's impossible. On the now. south side of Chicago. Seven hundred, right? I could not imagine you telling me to have to make six times seven hundred to afford some shit. Like I, I no, can't. No, 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 no. And Dude. I hate it because it's like Hold seven, on, guys, fourteen, guys, guys. No, 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 twenty-four. No, no. Like on. what are you asking me, my nigga? No, no. Like I, what? Let me, tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you. If I want an apartment building, what? I want to tell you. You need to make three times. Three. Rent. You're not saying seven. Let him go. Never ever said seven. You said seven hundred dollars. How much the rent costs? If I tell you, no, no, I, the rent was seven. Oh, you right. My bad. I got you. My bad. My brain just clicked. Damn! Shut up. I, I, I'm okay. Damn! Yo, go I'm ahead. listening. Go ahead. Else. So blaming the Savetka. Facts. Um, so if I tell you, you need to make three times that, that means you just need to make two thousand one hundred dollars every single month. Two thousand one hundred dollars every single month. That's five twenty-five a week. Five twenty-five a week is. A hundred and five dollars a day. Understood. Can I raise my but, hand? No, no, no. I, I, I want. I want to interject because if I make what, minimum wage, no, I'm, 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 and that's what, that's that's what I was gonna say. What happens is if you make minimum wage, you no, should not be but, living on your own. No, but Lamar, shut up. You sound you. You sound like the white folks. You sound very white and you sound very privileged. Cause wow, I'm I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm I'm being dead ass with you. What happens wow. is the minimum wage, right? Everything that's, is a game and it's in the system, right? So the system tells me that I'm only going to make $200 a week. But the system also tells me that I need to make $700 a week to have this apartment. How the fuck can I afford that apartment if the system is telling me I'm making this much? What I'm saying is, and I I know I'm over-talking you, I'm doing it on on purpose because I just want to get my point out. We'll get turns. Cool, exactly. I just want to get my point out so then you can speak uninterrupted. What happens is, they tell you that you need to make $16,000 a month for this one bedroom apartment. But then they only pay you $7,000 a month for this one bedroom apartment. So then you're looking at your finances and that's your, your, that's your take home seven. You got kids, you got after school programs, you got fucking sports you want to put your kid into any kind of anything you got whatever you want to do you got a podcast you want to pay for your we rent mics. we need cars. You need we mics. need stands. you want to do anything like, you, cool you got to pay for that but what happens is your fucking living your living is 16 bands and now they're telling you if you can't afford that you can't live here so our our statement is so who the fuck can afford that? That's what I was about to say. So here's 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 where it goes. I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say before. This is why I say it won't last, right? If you set your price to a particular level, but no one starts buying, eventually you gotta drop your price. Right? Not the government. Hold on. We're just going and to a recession, guys, and guys, not guys. white people, because <laughs> so they got it. We're not gonna say white people. I know a lot of broke ass white people. Is it living being in Atlanta? Oh, the I know country, a lot the of country rich is full black of black niggas who are the country is full of, the country on a um, boatload of white that's, people. That's not the bro. majority, bro. In whoa, real whoa, life, whoa, whoa. in real life, the, white people. in real life, I don't do all right, all right. In so, real life, as I was saying before, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You got it. To no argument. you set the price of a certain thing, no one can afford it. Mm-hmm. You have to drop your price, right? So if I have a building. Mm-hmm. Right, which we actually do have a building in Brooklyn on Church mm-hmm. Ave, right? Church 49th. The rent is a particular level. But we also have an apartment on Union, right? Mm-hmm. So we pay rent, but we also have tenants. Mm-hmm. The same way that um, every year... Do you overcharge the, your tenants? Do, I over, do, I charge, do we charge them 
Standard? No, no, no my real question. Value. Do we charge the market over, value? I'm asking, do you overcharge the standard? I mean, real okay, question. so again, overcharge and charge the market value is two different things. That's the fact. Overcharge is purposely saying. But I didn't ask, that's why I didn't ask you market value. I said, do you overcharge your tenants? Why would I Fair overcharge question. my tenants? I mean, he asked the question. That, that's my question. That's you question. can question. say no, I don't. No. Okay, I'm I, just clear. I'm charge market you. value, but you can go ahead and look at market value and say market value is ridiculous. That's overcharging. Well, my mama told me that. This is how much the rent is here yeah. for this two bedroom. I said, motherfucker, what? <laughs> Who's paying that? I said, who is? I wouldn't live there. <laughs> that bad. Like, you could have been my landlord. But so, so I'm paying that shit. Not done yet. Understand. Goodness. You was talking about fair market value. You was uh, talking about living so, somewhere. Yeah. So understand, boom. If I set my price for this much and no one in my building can afford it, I'm going to look for people who can. Price. But eventually, if no one is coming to live here, I have to still pay rent. Yes. I have to still pay mortgage. Sorry. So I'm still yeah. paying mortgage on the building. I have mortgage to still pay for the building. property tax. You feel and, me? Yeah, I got to yeah. still pay. So I need to make money. What will I do? I will drop my prices. Now, if I raise them, like how they've done in, in certain parts of Brooklyn, but some people are coming and they are paying that, I'm a businessman. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my business. Now you gotta so that's why we some people don't like we don't like gentrification because we feel like gentrification is uh you know it ends up running up the rates when certain people come in. Gentrification is literally like um making the property value of the community better. So what they do, I mean I mean they raise it. I mean I could I probably could look at the actual yeah. definition but the sweet. They raise gentrification it. is not just raise it. it. It's not just. They're not. They're just raising the price just to raise the price. Feel me? Not, not they only raise they it so white people can come and pay this, and you push out the black people that can't afford it. I it's, agree. But it's not just, bro. If your rent goes from six hundred to twelve fifty, bro. But here's here's my thing. Here's my thing. If I go ahead and. If I go ahead and just raise the price of, if I sold lemonade, okay. and I sell lemonade for a dollar, yeah, all my niggas had lemonade. Sure. But then I go ahead and just raise the price of, from lemonade from one dollar to five dollars. Right. You feel me? And now my niggas don't want to buy lemonade anymore. It's too expensive. And now the white people start buying lemonade. Yeah. Right. What is attracting the white people to now buy my five dollar lemonade? They got the bread. That's hold it. on, hold that's on. A, but no, but that's the difference. Why wasn't white, my white people buying my lemonade when it was a dollar? Because I mean, they didn't give a fuck. No, to be honest, they, they could have been. You just weren't focused on it. No. But now when no. the black people but drop I, out, you only see the white dollar. I'm not. Okay. Again. So I'm not looking for the white dollar. I'm looking for the more, most money. Right? But the, the white people got the most the money. We all know have that. The most on, and that's money. easy, bro. Hold like, on, stop it. Hold on. I don't. Again. Again. Yeah. I don't see. I don't. I, I believe white people have the most power. But depending on this, is, uh, all right, we can disagree till God no, come back. Can no, y'all just no, follow me? Real no, it's quick? America, nigga. They got, like, no, me they, picking on my wait, words, wait, my wait, nigga, wait, so wait, we wait, can get through wait, something. Cool, cool. So, so, Fuck. so, uh, un understood. You feeling passionate about this? I'm no, gonna, I'm not passionate. I just no, feel like I can. Uh, probably but the history get of this country. This. What no, are we but, doing? And, and, and that's what I'm trying to say. But mm. literally, literally, what happens is in this country, right, so white people got the most money. They have the most money. Pick my words, so we don't hang up on That's it. There's no answer for that. Cool, cool. They make the most. Cool. They have the most. So period. what what is the reason of me raising the if I'm okay, if all the black people in the community can pay that price. Let's just say they can. Okay. 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 I'm with you. Okay. Do I uh, hey, I'm raising it to five dollars. Yep. They can say, damn. Alright, fuck it, we'll pay it. Okay. What do I do then? You then say, I'm gonna raise it to seven, and they're gonna say, Oh, I'll pay that. And then we all leave because we can't afford the seven, but they can afford it. All right. It's what I'm trying wanna, to say. You want to know who buy the most Jordans? White people. You want to know why? Since the 19 fucking tens, they've been being paid more than us. 
So they have generational the the, the the fucking cliche word of generational wealth. What happens is they can afford shit that we can't afford because they got it in their bag. They can send their kids to college that we can't because they got it already. That's why we want to fight so hard for reparations and for all this extra shit because there's bread that we are owed. And you want to know what's you crazy? You owe us bread, nigga. You, you can go, and now you, that these niggas, these, they up 60 bands, 80 bands, 125 you can go, bands. We can go a step further than reparations. Give you one more. Not only did they not need reparations, they handed down generational wealth. So all that wealth from slavery, that's why they own the businesses. That's why you walk here to Atlanta, you see the buildings. Who owns this? Who's who's Barclays? Who is yeah. the motherfuckers that because they State Farm gener- Arena? Who is who State the, Farm? These is white Nigga, what niggas, the fuck? white people. That is the generational wealth that they handed down. We still trying to build it. So I fuck with you for being a businessman. That's what we out here trying to do. We but we but fight just, for an honest hourly wage. But and we these so niggas far own behind. Fucking, when motherfuckers was like Donald Trump had a million dollar loan, and he's trying to he tries to say this to all the broke white people. It was downplayed. He says, "Oh yeah, I had, well, I, I, I had to pull myself up from the bootstraps. I just got a loan from my daddy. Bitch, the loan was out. Oh, that's Yo, a shot. Yo, the loan was a million dollars. Niggas are not getting that. Can we can we make that shot roll over? No, no, no. I want this shot now. Take your motherfucking you just want me shot. To take a shot. Yo, yes, all take right. your shot. Okay. All right, we gotta get out of here, man. No, 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 we're not going to smooth over that. Can't Take your show. shot. I said it twice. No. That's crazy. That's What's the next one? Wow. I don't even drink like that. Yeah, yeah. You're going to drink tonight, motherfucker. I'll take my shot. Listen, yeah, I'm Yeah, you got no choice. But at the end of the day, yo, that's the shit we fighting, bro. Oh, we got, what we got? fucking trouble. No, we, we got we, we got trouble. Oh, trouble. Trouble. I talk about we him. Got, we got Can the we situation. We got the, honestly, we, we, it's, it's been a lot of death. In the last week, week and a half in this country, um, it all culminated with the, the 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 Atlanta native, the artist Trouble. Um, he was killed in, the, in an apartment complex because he went to go visit a young lady, and the the man that this young lady was dealing with didn't like that, yeah. and killed that man. Clarify. So he went to go. Check. He went to go link a girl in Conyers, Georgia. Yeah. But she broke up with the man, the gentleman, the ex. a week, a week ago. Okay. Right. So ten, like, broke up with a week ago. I don't know how he got in, but he got into the crib, what started mean, snuffing Shorty in. out. Mm. Then him and Trouble got into it. Of course, if I see you punching a girl in the crib that I'm in, probably was just you know what I'm saying. And then he ended up shooting him in the chest. Yeah. And from what I've seen, bro, I would have never thought. That he, like, right. trouble is a big deal in the city. A big. I want, I want to stop you there real quick. The I re- just was waiting on deal. The, Why are you stopping for the, deal? The, the, no, big, no. Because no. <laughs> we, got we got the dramatic All effect, right. right? I just want so to hear I, deal. I, for someone who's <laughs> new to this city, yeah. I promise you when I first heard it, I literally was like, okay. It means nothing. No, no. I'm not going to say that because something, means a, bro, a man lost Originally. his life. No, no, right? I get that part. So then let me just go because you, you talking for me and I'm I know I'm, I'm not my aligning fault, with you. you. Thank you. All right. Cool. My bad. So what I'm saying you. is <laughs> a man lost his life and because of that, yeah. it's a problem for me. Yeah. A black man lost his life to another uh-huh. black man with gun violence. That's an issue with me across the board, right? Um, I didn't know the, 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 the effect that trouble had on the community. I didn't know the the reach that he had. I'm not in tune with Atlanta rap just like I just got here. You make it make sense for you. Imagine Mayno got shot. Exactly. And right. bro, you literally took the artist out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. Like literally, you literally took the artist. Yeah. What I was trying to do, now that I understand the situation, because I've, I've we researched this shit so we could talk here, right? Yeah. So now that I did all that shit, it's literally a Mano out of Brooklyn being taken away, and that's an issue. And being taken away in this, like... This kind of fashion, this manner, it's crazy. And the thing is, I'm not... Of course, you know, Trouble had his crew or whatever, or... Bro, I, 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 ne- I never what heard what a nigga did. music until today. I mean, well, yeah. yesterday. No, I, it I'm, ain't I'm, my I'm, fault. I'm, I'm um, telling you. I'm telling you. You have heard his music. His music has been played on the radio multiple times. Wait, wait, it ain't my fault. It's Trouble? 
Uh, it ain't my fault. That's trouble. And Boosie. That's what I'm sorry. That's the, uh, can you can you look it up again? I, I okay, think that's okay. it. I'm about to say, wait a minute. Whoa. Look it up. Because I when when I first heard the news, I was like, who? But that's just me. But yeah, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm sitting here. I'm like, I don't fucking. I, I wasn't quite aware of the individual, but I'm also new to the city, so I'm, I may have missed it. But I can empathize with a whole community who lost somebody who was special. And this whole, bro, like I said, this whole, the whole last week, week and a half has been a problem when it comes to just gun violence in this country and we're not making no changes to affect anything. We're not trying to make anything better. It's just days are rolling past and niggas is losing their lives and we ain't doing nothing for nobody. And that's where my issue is, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I know this individual lost his life. Um, I had a whole question about going to a woman's house like I wanted to yeah, speak about that. Like yeah. I, I wanted to speak about that. Like the, the just the aspect of going to spend time at a woman's house. I never was big with that. I always had a woman come to me mm -hmm. because yeah. I know my space is safe. Okay, so I mean I didn't know. So thank you for putting me on yeah. it. And once again, bro, if I'm ignorant Look, educate me. Bro, I'm from New York, man. I'm from shit. Brooklyn, New York, bro. I'm not worried about, about stuff that happened in the sixties all the time, bro. So right, Shut cool. the fuck up. Because you was there with Mr. K. I mean, marching it, for us. Thank it you it so is. much. I appreciate you, my older brother. No, but 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 real shit. Like I, I didn't know that he was that big of a deal, right? I understood that he was a big artist. I'm watching the news. He's all over the place. It's it's, it's real shit. I just didn't know his reach. So now that I know. I'm not gonna say it makes it any worse or better. It's still a fucked up situation. It's, it's, you understand. No, so, I don't understand. I, no, 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 no. I I don't understand how this individual you could just his validity to the city. To the city. Yeah. Yes. Right. So. So. Bro, now, for you to walk into an apartment complex just to meet a young lady who you are talking to at that time, and for that young lady's <laughs> ex man, yeah. ex, whatever the situation, for that to turn. Deadly yeah, is yeah. nuts to me. So when I was really asking, when I was really asking people, it was like, yo, from two two standpoints, yo, what would you do if you pull up and your ex that you just broke up with a week ago got somebody in the crib? Yep. And what would you do if Shawty pull up, if Shawty man pull up, and whether they're together or not together, you don't know, but he just busts into the crib. That's so, that's that so was I, my. So to, just to answer that question very bluntly and plainly. For, two. You know, for, I, yeah, do, I, do, I do both yeah, angles. Yes. I'm going to answer both the of them. I'm <laughs> you got to see both angles. I'm going to answer <laughs> both of them with the same answer. I am not risking my freedom for mm -hmm. anybody. Period. I agree with that. And that should answer the question for me. Yeah. I, I don't care what side I'm on. If we're going to get into altercation, cool. You're now talking about bodying somebody. Mm. This man is no longer here. I'm not risking my freedom long term for a woman who, to be honest with you, um, I need to see what she look like. Not, but and not, not I, even. Not. I, you are, it's I, funny. It's funny. I need. It's not even being funny. Mm -hmm. I need to see what short. And it's not being disrespectful. Uh, bro, I need to see, bro. But but, but the, the, what was the relationship? I don't think that's important. But man. but the the the, 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 front. the reason why it's not important to, to me. Look look look. The reason why it's not important to me. You could be a baddie. You could be an ugly chick. I don't give a motherfucker. What happens? What what happens is if, if if you're the lady in the middle, two men around you just lost their life. That's it. Yeah. One nigga got killed. The next person about to do life in prison. Two men around you just lost their life. Yeah, no, 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 but 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 nah, but, but Els, hear me out, hear me out. Two black men just lost their lives yeah. surrounding one black woman, and I'm not saying it's her fault, right? Because this nigga could just be the most reckless individual ever. So, but so, the reason why the looks don't matter to me is what I just said. Like it's it's it's. it's so so it's, have y'all and I, we we all been here. We it's we, crazy. we grown. Um, 
you know, her ex-girlfriend just hit me, just random. And she was like, you don't remember when we was kids? Because I dated her when we was young. I'm not 18, risking my life. 18, 19. I'm not she was like, you life. remember a, this situation where we was out and niggas pressed you and then you was going to kill everybody. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, I kind of. I was like, now I'm older. I definitely would have been like, relax, guys. Uh, this should not be the situation. So my question to y'all is, you know, you you're young. You're, you're younger now. I'm I'm old. I'm 30 plus. My nigga, at this point, I'm kind of like, say what you say, my nigga. Like I'm going home with her, bro. Plus. So so here's your question. But I want to know, if like, you're closer I, to 40, do you do like 40 minus? No, no, you say 60. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. But my Half my, a my point is is, well, two part question. Okay. Have you ever been with your girl and got pressed by another nigga? Not you know what I mean. Just in your situationally. Have you ever been pressed? And then the other part is, what do you do? Regarding Shorty or not? Regarding Shorty. Because she wants you to protect her, be her man, be her protection, be her, you know what I'm saying? So you are I, the nigga. Can I, can I answer that question? Two parts, though. Two cool. parts. So to answer both parts of the question, yes, I have been in a situation where I was with my lady. Right. And I got quote unquote He didn't pressed. even ask you, bro. No, he asked the room. No, he asked, asked me. Both he asked me, bro. My hand was doing this, but I was saying both of y'all. Stop. He said, no, no. 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 He said, you're younger. I'm older shit. Uh, but I'm younger man. than him. No, no, he's pointing at me. He's like, but I was doing this. Nah, but I'm, I'm younger than him. Plus. He wouldn't tell you. He's I'm not 30 plus. plus. All right, that's not the argument. 22. <laughs> that's not the argument. <laughs> Shut up. No, but okay. So just but, answer. But he just answer so, first. Fuck so, it. Cool. So to answer the question, ha, have I, you and then I what have, did you do? I have been in the situation. I have been in a situation where I'm with my lady friend, mm-hmm. and someone or a group of people quote unquote press me. Press you, right? For whatever reason. For the, you know, dumb niggas. The whatever. outcome of my situation, I yeah. did get into the fight. You got. I you did. Took the fight. I yeah. did get into a physical alter- yeah, yeah, altercation. Yeah, yeah. Did you get jumped? At, it happened twice. Um, it was the one. Same shorty. No. Yeah, same shorty. <laughs> same shorty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, just, that just meant that she looked that good. And niggas yeah, no, clearly. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all that means. That's all it means. Are these guys that she used to date? Or just all right. Let, I want to no. know the story, though. No. Hold on. No, 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 it's not no, no, it's valid. It's valid. I just it's, valid. Know. it's valid. It's valid. Valid question. But no, but no, story, no, no to answer your question. Because I want to no. get to your story, too. I'm just saying I just want to hear this one. So I will say this. I will say this. And that's why I feel like I have some validity, but not totally. But let me just let me just build my case. I've been in a situation where I'm with a young woman. Yeah. And um, someone says something crazy or they approach crazy, you now have to defend. Cool, right. I get that. I've also been in a situation where it's a group of people. Group. Bro I, li- bro, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, my Ooh. nigga. Bro, bro. We have too many scenarios and too many situations that I can name where you're with someone on, and man. a group of somebody is saying something to that someone, yeah. and now you either... You just take it or you say something and then take whatever comes with it. Mm. Me personally, in my life, I'm going to say something. That's just me, right? So, me being me, I'm not going to look at this situation and and totally disrespect it. But what I will say is, times have changed. I didn't have to necessarily deal with gun violence, right? Right. I may have to deal with getting jumped and you get stomped out, you get beat the fuck up. But guess what? You can go home. It shit has changed now, bro. Like you will literally lose your fucking life for saying anything on the contrary of what's going on, right. right? So, have I been in situations where I had to defend while I was with one person? Yes. Have I been in a situation where I had to defend where it's multiple people? Yes. Have I lived to tell the day? Obviously, I'm here yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to say is like it's different. This nigga went into and uh, he went into enemy territory, and this is what I want to speak to. Me as a guy, I was always told never to go to her house. Always have her come to your house. I, wait, in general, told, wait, wait, was, real quick. Was, in general or that girl? Any yeah, woman. I, no, but I'm at, because. My, mind you, bro, my, my, that's bro, what ready? My, my pops was not in the house. I was raised by my mom and I was raised by my uncle. My uncle always told me never go to her house. But here's, ever. Mm. So here's I lived on Schenectady. You, you remember, bro. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. With that. I had everybody come to my spot. I never went to anyone's spot. I'm not going. Here's the thing. Because this is what happens. Twofold. Don't go to her house because technically that's not home field, right? It's enemy territory. But I've also been told don't let, don't let nobody know where you lay your head at. 
Mm, valid. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of why valid. I was like, really? Don't valid. let come to your crib. Like, no, because I heard the same so, shit, bro. So, like, but I, I, I heard that was, about the when enemy. I in, when I was in, but you don't know who the enemy is if you ever having yeah, friends over. If, if it's your young lady, if it's your lady. If it's your, but if he's a lady, but that's the same. Unless she about to line you, like exactly. But that's the same situation with going to her house because she can line you. But you can control so then where more. where are we going? No, but you can control more. <laughs> regardless, hotels? Regardless, we, we at the hotel. Nigga of, spend wild bread at hotels. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. You a yeah. business owner, nigga. Yeah. Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I was at some point, nigga. Uh, huh? Hotel Maxi, okay? <laughs> I pay for it every month. So, Stupid. Um, So I've, I've heard that as well. In Chicago's Econo Live. I, I guess, so I never really went to women's house as much in New York because I had the free more than them. And I also lived on, like, Union, on East Park yeah, and Utica, yeah, yeah. so well, I lived in know. a big junction area yeah. where, like, you gotta pass me to go anywhere. You could, yeah. You wanna I'm, go? I'm, you wanna I'm go? a major hub. I, I'm a major hub. I'm a I hub. Am, I am Hartfield Jackson Atlanta Airport. The okay? three, four, five stops by me. All right. I just have to say, as an outsider, that is the most congested place I've ever seen in my life. Stupid. That was like, 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 I moved here with, I moved to New York with a nigga. The nigga had a nervous breakdown on that street. <laughs> I swear to God. Yo, my nigga, you know my nigga just cause, I always yes. tell you. My nigga just cause, he came with me. Lamar, the nigga was standing on the street. He was like, what the fuck? Why is all of this happening? Oh, who are you? Why is this? Ah! And I was like, bro, you need to relax. Nigga, he had a whole breakdown. And, and that, that shit is, made him move back to Chicago. And that is what I, I swear to God. Home. <laughs> for 15 years. It was like, oh, every time in the middle of yeah. summer. It's empty. Fuck yeah. it. Middle of summer. That's when hilarious. I had nothing to do, and I just went out there. I just, like, just. <laughs> ah. ah, for me, it's tough. I, I, I'm mad he lost his life. Yeah, I, I'm mad that we're here now talking about another black soul that is lost off of some stupid yeah. shit, especially when it could be avoided. Um, and I feel like it could be avoided by just him being at his own crib. Like, mm. I, I, I was always, I grew up on, I, I don't go to somebody else's house, they come to my shit, because I can control that. What happens was he was in somebody else's house, somebody else had the access to that house, shot him up, he's now dead. Jamaica, what's his name, Jamaica, whatever? Jamaica something. Jamaica somebody, you a piece of shit. Um... So my, my take on that is yes, um, or we could just flip the scenario. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like it's not about, in my personal opinion, it's not about whether you're at your house or somebody else's house. But you can flip the scenario because if he has shorty over, then his baby mama or his ex, or uh, or someone who didn't want to see him with somebody else got upset, pulled up, and girls in Atlanta carried guns in their purses. You feel me? And shot. Uh-huh. So Everybody the, shoot. So so my thing is, is yes is different, but. It could have happened either way. My 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 thing is, is hurt people hurting people, yeah. and people learning how to properly express their emotions. Okay, I agree when it comes with that. To yeah, I agree. Heartbreak or just any kind of negative disagreements, because as I, I like literally, I was I, I could I could be joking with a sh- I've joked with a shorty in the past, and she was like, "Well, if I come home, and you fucking a, a girl, I'm shooting you and her," and I'm like, "Sounds funny," but. That's just hurt people hurting people. Mm-hmm. Because you are so hurt, you feel like you need to take a life. You so, are so hurt, you feel like that's where you need to go. You, like, you're putting your freedom at stake to make a point. I'm going to mm-hmm. be on my Molly Carroll. You are correct. Fuck with you. Did you have one more? Or we out? What do you mean? Is this the end? Oh, the topic-wise. Oh no no we we had another one to talk about. Just but one more. But did you did you did you get your rocks off with with what we talking about? We Gucci. So you you cool with the um, with the whole trouble situation? Yeah. Okay. So you want to talk about Florida? Uh, uh, <laughs> Florida, Florida, and again once you, again. You want Florida, Florida doing oh. Florida shit All once right. again? So, but I got I got mad experience though. I mean, li- I got ten years of experience. You s- All right. So, like boom. <laughs> do I know the details? No. Do I care? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so. Florida man receiving oral sex crashes head on into FedEx truck. Wait, now, why? you ever got head <laughs> while driving? On my life. 
<laughs> oh my God. Listen. My you ever got head while driving? Of course. Nigga, what? I, I'm just asking. Just of course. Asking. You want to know what I've done while driving? I've had sex while driving. Oh, yeah. I, I have professional. Two. Get make sure they get on top. Yeah, mm. nah, go crazy. Nah. I be, I be, I be on top. Oh, look at the foot. Look at the foot. So this left foot down. Yeah, right for yep. stability. Yeah, all right. Uh, right foot controlling the gas. You doing a lot. So uh, control the gas. Real quick, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I just got one question. Hold real quick. I'm not what, done. what was I'm your first? Done. What was I'm your first? Done. What was I'm your? Done. Your I'm not done. Let me go. What was your first? Let me go. Let me go. Be shorty over. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's in front of me. Okay, traffic, so. Can't see. So apparently he has a manual. Go to it. Well, no, you can't. You can't. You, you oh. cannot have a stick shift doing this. You cannot. We, niggas you cannot. don't. Right? Cool. Let's so, go through the so Lamar it's, 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 manual. It's, it's a manual. Let's talk cool. about it. It's a manual. So you can't have a stick shift doing this. You're not doing that. You're not fucking MacGyver. Fuck you. No. I'm no. Saying, no. Make fuck this your happen. face. No. 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 You do not have a stick shift doing You're this. You're not about to. You t- cannot be here doing this. <laughs> Right, so you're not doing I'm that. I'm just no saying. So that. what if a nigga got a stick shift and he's like, I want to figure impossible. out how to do this too. If you, if you got a stick shift, you're not having. Talk to him. Talk to him. You're not having sex know. in your car. At, with a People stick also shift. said what I was doing was impossible. Oh, uh, here you go. Now you <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I didn't have a stick shift, <laughs> but as I'm saying, so boom. Yeah. Leg down. Hands going like this. Okay. Uh, like this. Yeah. Bring uh, shorty over so you can see. Yeah. Go you gotta to see. The service lane. You can go a smooth fifty to sixty. You going 60 while busting cheeks? 60 Te- while busting cheeks? That's, that's, that's 50, pretty 50, high, 60, bro. 50, right I mean, I respect it. Um, um, speed shit. limit's usually like 65 anyway. I'm living through you right now, brother. 55 in certain areas. And you going All crazy. true. Like, and then crazy. Um, if you really want to go crazy, I'm mad that can confirm usually, of course, them. this is happening at late at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Open roads. Sex, yeah. But no, no. Bro. So this is highway. This is 85. 85. So bro, I'm living through you so, right now. So yeah. Okay. My dude, you doing 85 getting head or sex? No, he said 85 is the highway that he oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. God so damn it, Dave. My, so, my bad. My bad. Keep so, up. Highway 85. Here's, a, here's the thing. I'm like, really mad that this That's article crazy. or this happened. Yeah. Only because ever since I was 18, I've had multiple women say, "No, I don't want to give you head while you drive." Because you're going to crash into a car. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, no, I'm not. <laughs> baby, I don't have to. Where else am I going to look? I'm not looking. I can't really see. I can't enjoy the visual. You just you see your head, head bobbing. You know, I just see, uh uh-uh. I might be able to look over a little bit, but I'm looking at the road. You feel mm. me? So All he right. just kind of, he made it difficult for our culture. Yes. All those who that like fight, to enjoy. That, that what fight is our is culture? Over. Head culture? No, head while Car driving. head culture? Yes. Yeah. He's made a Harvard car head culture. Okay, yes. I'm arguing. Yeah. I just want to know. You said our car. I'm like, I, am I, I'm part of head nation? What is that? Is that a thing? So he made know. it hard for our culture, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I agree with that statement. He did. <laughs> I would, no, I would. But they did. Yo, shout Both out to head of them. Because it's not just he. They. No, no, no. It's him. Nah, because she did it. No, no. She did nothing wrong. Wait a minute. What? She didn't. What did she give? Too good of head? Yes. Yo. No. Wait, wait, no, wait. wait. Not, listen, How listen, dare listen. you be that good? I'm not going to put out that narrative that you need to go ahead and moderate the level of head that you give out when you're doing that. No. But. We're not pushing that message. I'm so sorry. No, guys. you're right. Okay, wait, no, you're right. Quick, I want you quick, to go. Real quick. I don't, I, no, I'm right. not. I'm not. Time. Yo, right. I don't want to be that guy. But. But. My nigga was doing everything that we just talked about. And crashed mm-hmm. <laughs> into a car head first. They both died. Oh, damn. They both died? I don't know. I didn't know that. No part. one knows. <laughs> Yo, what the <laughs> fuck, Dave? Yo, you got to. I you, mean, we brought it up. No, you I'm cannot just incorrectly. So we have that. to say, hypothetically, right? You want a paraplegic ass nigga who said, I'm paraplegic. I got hit. No, no, no. I'm okay with you just dying, fam, as far as the story. So. What I'm saying is, guys, but you die, bro? Like, you go straight into a truck, getting the best head from the baddest chick you've I'm just saying, like, Yo, your it's point, comedy there. I'm so sorry. Like, we have terrible. to ask it. That's a terrible point, bro. We have, it's, no, it's not. It's At this point, fuck you. It's not. That's the article. The article is guy gets head 
moves well, into traffic. Florida guy. <laughs> it's always Florida. It's always Florida. It's always Florida. Moves, goes straight into traffic and dies. So what I'm saying is, fellas, <laughs> like, we had a whole conversation about how fun it is to get ahead in the car. But. Well, technically, you never said. Crash into the truck, well, bro. Listen, die. I, I, I've, so, ne- I've never so said it was it fun never, to get ahead. No, no, no. Well, you're wild. You're, so you're uh, wild. So I love my life. Technically, the article never said anyone lost their life. Oh, they so died. No, it didn't say that they died. They didn't, they didn't die. You don't fact check it. Please find it. But I thought uh, they died. Who said that? I thought who I said, thought that was the said, article. Why did you think that? Nigga, you, you, when you posted the article. I never said, it never said they died. So we talk about an article with two motherfuckers that was fucking and crashed, and then that's Not it? Fucking, getting head. Yeah. Getting head and the nah, crash. All right, man. They said it was a head-on collision. I give a fuck about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. <laughs> I don't so care no more. To, when it comes to that, They ain't died. Nothing was crazy. There's no lesson. Is no, there is a lesson. So, What's the so, lesson? Well, uh, t- to be honest, to, to be honest, my lesson is different from his lesson. So my my, my okay, lesson, no, 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 no because, because he's still on the mindset of fuck it. If you gonna give head, give head, and I'm a, I'm a don't die, it. motherfucker. My yeah. lesson is don't do that shit in a moving vehicle, and you don't like that lesson. You see, look at his face. Look, <laughs> look at his face. He don't like that lesson. All right, so no, my lesson le- le- legit. My yo, lesson so is don't do that shit, shit. tonight, bro. Where I'm operating a moving fucking okay. missile. Okay. I'm Understand, understand something. Women, there is not anything that I'm doing where I don't want help. Okay? I even mean, driving a vehicle on the expressway. Really but I get it. Hold I get on. It. But understand, even understand. It. The only time I may not want head <laughs> is if I if am, get head. If I'm around, <laughs> if I just nutted. <laughs> Leave me alone. The right, only time right, where right, I'm right. like, nah, that's right. enough head. If I just came and you drained me, you drained the swamp. Like down Soul the swamp, snatcher. Okay? That's the only time where I'm like, challenge. Eh, I'm good on head. And then. It's a five minute window. That, no, no. It's a three to six minute window. Okay? Gotcha. It might okay. be early. Okay. Where I'm like, well, I can take some head again. Okay? That, that three to so six I, I, I don't want I don't want this instant to stop people from chasing their dreams. Okay? <laughs> I, bro, want, I want to live. Oh, I'm not trying to oh, die, bro. Understand. Understand. Wait, with my camera. Understand that there's going to be times in life. This is terrible. When. This is terrible. You're going to think that this is dangerous. <laughs> but chasing your dreams are da- Hold on. Fulfilling your duty is dangerous. Sometimes you have to put yourself in uncomfortable positions. Sometimes. You have to go out on a limb. This thing got a whole TED talk. Hold He's on. Good. Hopefully yeah, not lose great. a limb. Listen, ladies. ladies. If it's reachable, it's suckable. <laughs> if you can <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. If, if you it's can, reachable, it's suckable. If you can get to it, then you should get to it. <laughs> I fuck with that. I right. fuck with that. Right, I fuck with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fuck with that. Right, before, I fuck with that. Before we leave out right, here, before so we leave out here, because we got, we got to, we got to go. I understand bro. that this person, go. you know what I'm saying? He got into a car accident because he was getting some fine top. But let's think about so many other things that throw us off. Texting, <laughs> right? We still do it <laughs> on the phone, right? We still do it, okay? Reaching for stuff. Understand. We still do you be reaching. You be reaching. Niggas be reaching. Head is probably getting head while driving is probably one of the safest extracurricular activities you can do because <laughs> your eyes don't need to leave the road Bro, to receive that you, head. You so not, you, understand, you, ladies. You're not ladies, to be on this ladies, platform. Ladies, 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 ladies or even Yo. people who do perform no, go ahead. oral go, pleasures, uh-huh. regardless of your mm-hmm. um, situation. The doors of the church are not open. Don't hesitate. Uh-huh. Now, Please. all I would say is Come on through, ladies. find yourself someone responsible. Mm. But the only way to see if they're responsible is for to you to go ahead suck and suck them off while driving. Let that thing touch your tonsils. All right. Yo, Thank you very much. We are proud of here. We appreciate y'all, Wednesday. man. We appreciate it's been y'all. A great fucking episode. <laughs> Get the soap. Lamar's Be back, goddammit. And clearly, <laughs> this is where we at, man. <laughs> Yo, Yo, we, we out, man. Holla, see y'all next week, bro. 
Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.